I got swatted on Christmas last year. <laughs> Dude, this bussy was open. <laughs> We haven't done the offenders in a while. I f***ing hate my own kind. At least That's you're not fine. doing it. Bing. And we're golden. And we're golden. I don't know how you guys will feel about this, but uh, recently Show and I haven't really had anything to watch. And we started watching Desperate Housewives. Oh. It's actually pretty Bro, you gotta cut the Netflix subscription. <laughs> 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 Desperate Housewives, your immediate response. Bro, it's the, time. The irony is <laughs> time. The irony of you being so desperate, you started watching Desperate Housewives. Yeah. We had nothing to watch. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't that Grey's Anatomy it? right now? <laughs> <laughs> Me lucky charms. Because <laughs> I'm very I, I don't good believe at Irish you ever accents. heard an Irishman. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I love I can do every with every accent but white people accents are the ones I'm like, yeah, how do they do that? Right, so do Indian accent lucky real charms. Quick, bro. Do the do the Indian accent. Let me Come hear on. you here. Did you what? do it first? Indian accent first? Oh sir, you have to buy the uh, Windows warranty on your computer if you don't do it. <laughs> Windows 365 days you will be hacked. You'll be hacked. Yeah, so you gotta, you oh, gotta, got to talk. Do you talk? See, my best part is getting a scam call and then responding to them as the other scam. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, you just called the other office, bro. <laughs> you answer with that answer. No, 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 answer. You're scamming like, each I'm other like, back and forth. I'm like, you, you called the other officer. <laughs> hello, Dinesh, we are right down the road. <laughs> yeah, Dinesh, what are Dude, you my, doing? My, my, you my, know my yeah. number is here. Dinesh, call me later. <laughs> <laughs> this is how this episode started. Wow. <laughs> Unsubscribed podcast coming in hot. Cody's like, I'm white and uncomfortable right now. This is a I'm lot of brown on this table. I like it. This I was is just going to make a, a joke about how this is like a reverse Oreo. You stuff the brownest people in the middle and then just kind of go out white from there. Credit on that side. How of racist the- can I be on this podcast? Like, <laughs> you can get away with a lot of stuff. You got the passes. <laughs> yeah, we're good right now. Ready to pop that top? Do we have pops to tops? Tops, tops to, to pops? pops? One. I almost called you Dinesh, Jesus Christ. I was like, Dinesh Dinesh needs one. Don't call him Dinesh. (laughs) (laughs) Mudahar needs one, Jesus. (laughs) Good old White Claw? (laughs) Yes, we do usually pop the top. I'm popping this one. I don't have, do you have an extra? You don't have to drink it. I'll drink all of them. Okay. We're just popping. I was going to say, you give me a raspberry. Have I insulted your family? Insulted my family. Well, you want black cherry? Is that better? Any better? Yes, absolutely, it's better. Sure. Yeah, oh, you we, we, we swap it? All right, we'll I appreciate it. it. Black cherry. Thank Fox. you. Dinesh right loves the raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there's the shirt for the episode. Oh, Dinesh <laughs> loves the raspberry. One, two, three. Woo! All right. Welcome to the unsubscribe podcast. I'm joined today by Eli Double Fat, Brandon Herrera, who hates veterans. And you, dude. Mr. <laughs> Mudahar, some ordinary game or something like that. And I'm Donut. And Hello. Donut Operator. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Welcome. You're all already watching because we started very racist on this episode. They're like, oh, this is a good episode. Okay. And I kind of looked halfway through that conversation and saw the red recording button. I'm like, all right, well, that's how we're, we're just going in hard. Yeah. We're going right. in hard with that. I mean, you have to, you know, you have to break the ice somehow. Brandon's still the bad guy in this entire episode. <laughs> I know, how, how could I, a, a Medal I, of Honor recipient hate veterans? Yeah, I, I, I saw the fucking thing, thumbnail you guys used for the one with veteran with a sign. I'm like, motherfucker, I wasn't on that episode. What the shit, dude? Dude, I'm not even from this country, and I was so offended when I saw that. <laughs> well, you are, you are from the, the Twitter sphere, though, so you know. I am. Poor Brandon. Oh God! So you saw you got to see the the front uh, Dude, front I lines see, warfare on Twitter. I get to see the worst like, humanity. I get to see the worst of humanity every day when I sign on to that godforsaken app. So which which is your uh, where does your Twitter algorithm tint towards? So there's like the duality of man. It's either porn or snuff films. Bro, I get fights, <laughs> snuff films, and porn. Dude, I get all of it every day. <laughs> I start, dude, when I go into the bathroom, I sit down on the toilet, I open up that Twitter app, it's either porn or it's either somebody getting clocked in the head, dude. It's not even a choice in between. Titties, death, titties. Just like out of my week. (laughs) Dude, like out of my week, there's like maybe one day where I'm like, oh, dude, cute, cute uh, cat photo. Awesome. I can start my day off successfully. Shit. It's like that that (laughs) meme I saw recently where it's like, bro, you woke up at six o'clock to go to your fucking nine to five job popped open Zach Bryan and did like fucking down two Red Bulls. Did you even try to have a good day? No, <laughs> no but here it begins. It's like your dopamine is so blown out because like you were saying, it's like 
titties, murder. Titties, murder. <laughs> this is my, disgusting. My brain doesn't know what to do. <laughs> right and, now. Then, and they're like, and why like, is the algorithm feeding me this? But because you keep scrolling it. Because <laughs> you keep scrolling through, you're like, man, maybe it'll get better at some point. Or you're like, maybe I like the titties and murder, dude. Maybe that's what it's all about. You, <laughs> I just like that. That is, that is fucking gladiator mode, like <laughs> to, to a T. It is blaming the algorithm for your own. <laughs> your Man, own poor hate for Eli's you. Eli's over here. Why is all I see gay porn? This is weird. I hate this stuff. Babe, check this one out. Well, that's like, the, that's, like the, that. that's like the that's like the like that's like the algorithm like, tell what? right. Like when you're like an engineer, and somebody's like, "Man, why is the algorithm keep feeding me?" I'm like, "Bro, what's the last ten things you watched? Gay porn? It's probably gonna give you the eleven videos." I'm just saying, but you know, I there's swear no I bias. Don't. It's what it's, it's how it. That's what that's how they keep you stuck in, right? Like that's the whole algorithm stuff. They keep you constantly scouring the feed, which is kind of fucking wild because like you see these stories of like where uh, you know dads get mad because they're serving ads to like his teenage daughter for prenatal vitamins and things like that and he's like dude what the fuck where are you what are you trying what message are you trying to send and realize like the algorithm knew your daughter was pregnant before you did <laughs> it's fucking wild like it's that's like, the world we live in uh, that's when you give like google way too much power into like looking into your phone and like personal life and everything dude you realize that we're all just ones and zeros at the end of the day like we don't like it like you don't like being psychoanalyzed by a real person much less a computer dude you know the wildest shit is like i make so many videos about like cybersecurity and like protecting your information like what do you got to hide i'm like dude I'm going to bring the question. Do you want some random guy to walk into your house and like watch what you do every day? <laughs> you know, like, no, just think about it. Like, you come home from work. You got a shitty day streaming. You're already like fucking, you know, social batteries checked out. You come home at five o'clock. You sign off. the. You sit in your living room. There's an asshole looking at every single thing you did. Come on now. Like, and that's the thing. I'm like, it's not that I have nothing to hide. It's just like, it's creepy. You know, like it's weird. <laughs> Well, it's not like you have like a lot of you know illegal money and weapons like the rest of us. You really do have nothing to hide. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm Canadian. I have more illegal weapons. Oh, that's true. Actually, yeah, I didn't think about it from that perspective. But you guys are at least licensed to own your stuff. I pretty much sit unlicensed in my house, dude. Come on, dude. You're space, 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 space. space. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the episode name's just based. <laughs> Mudahar's based as fuck. He's like, no, 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 dude. No, I don't no. give a shit if the cops raid my house. Like, I, <laughs> Like legit, I got like a license for everything. If I get fucking raided, like what's gonna happen? A day out of my life is gone. You kick down my door, but at least I get to laugh at the RCMP and all the cops. And I'm like, at least I was licensed. And you get to make had. fucking ten grand off the video you make about 100%. it. Hundred percent. That's like yeah. that's the, that's the best part. It's like if I get raided by the cops as a YouTuber, I'm like shit. That's just a payday right there. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm it, bro. Have you been swatted yet? No, not like at my house or anything. I had like cops, like uh, I had a system where like usually for streams you would go to like cops beforehand and like tell them yeah. like, yeah, I do yeah. video stuff and like you might get a call. So what ended up happening was like anytime there would be a swatting, they would call my phone in the middle of a stream or anything and I'd be like, I'm streaming, somebody's fucking with you. My house is not a hostage situation. And, and that's, they would that's just happened to you before? Yeah, it's happened like before around in like places because when Jesus. I did like deep web browsing and stuff, like my actual yeah. address was leaked on the dark web. So from time to time, they would like call up the address and like they would send the SWAT teams out. And, and that's why you need Aura. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this, Which ad break do we have? I think it's Aura. Uh, do we actually have Aura this time? Yes. Oh, oh, my, oh my God, God we do. <laughs> yes, Aura. G-Van. You're welcome, g -Van. G -Van. <laughs> Aura, if there's a tushy ad right now, G Van, I'm gonna fucking kill you. Fucking <laughs> 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 but, but, UFC 299's this weekend. If you know one thing, the boys and I are in the fight. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. Sign up now for a host of boosted bets and exclusive money back props that let you grab A tier fighters. No B tier branding in this one. At incredible odds. UFC 299 is your perfect opportunity to cash in on your fight knowledge over at my bookie. And the Phantom Weight, the belt is on the line this weekend. You can stream it and bet on it live with the sports book. Give you a slight advantage until that final bell rings. Cash out or let it ride with my bookie, baby. And if you're looking for a little experience and excitement before the fights, experience the brand new and improved My Bookie Casino Floor. Featuring 500 different new games and progressive jackpots waiting to be won. Head over to www.mybookie.ag and use code UNSUB and save some money right now. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy just inserts a tissue, I'm like, what the fuck, Gavin? <laughs> we walked through this. 
No, bro. The worst part about like the swatting stuff is like some of the addresses are so old. They're from like previous residences. So I'm like, dude, the last thing I want is some like random person to get like a fucking cop kicking down their door, and it's not me, you know? Because it's per- like I'd kind of prefer that. <laughs> Dude, I, I guess then, you know it's the body count of a no knock raid at a rando's house is much lower than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got I got swatted on Christmas last year. I've been swatted five times now, and I got swatted on Christmas. And they called me and they're like, "Are you holding your family hostage?" And I'm like, "It's it's a swatting." And they're the cops said, "What's swatting? Like, are you fucking Jesus serious, Christ. dude?" This Not is, a like, single cop knew what the fuck a swatting was. There was like one young cop that probably told them all. That's why they didn't kick in my door. I wasn't even at home. I was with my family in South Carolina. Well, it's like uh, like we were talking about on the drive to. Oh, I can say it. You beat yeah. that out just in case. <laughs> yeah, we we blurred it during the the Zach episode. Probably a good. Good idea to blur it now. Bleep it again, G-Man. But uh, driving there, we were talking about cybersecurity because that's what you went to school for. You're like, homeboy's very smart. That was, you do actually business business and then YouTube is a YouTube is always thing. like the secondary side gig. It's because um, YouTube is a fleeting business to be in. Um, I, I, I say that like, I say that like we're all, I say that like with a with sense of fear, but it's like I'm mostly like in stability land. You know, like I grew up, immigrant family so it's like when the money comes in it's like you want to invest that wisely and then you can live comfortably but yeah you know like unlike a lot of the other streamer crowd i guess i was talking with you guys about i'm like yes i worked a previous job career and then you all how because you do your own vpns you do your own vpn like you build everything from the ground if you're like well you can do it yourself it's really easy i'm like well boo boo Easy for you. And you're like, yeah, that's true. I went to college. It's, like, it's, it's like me talking to you guys about building AKs. It's like, no, seriously, like legitimately, like you, you never fucking pressed a, a hot rivet before. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> no, Dude. we haven't. No, but yeah, it's like even with the computer stuff, it's like making a video on like, you know, virtual machines or like, you know, your own VPNs or like DNS servers or something to like give you the edge. I understand it's not for everyone. That's why like anytime I make a video like that, I make it for like the most unintelligible person watching, not out of like, any superiority it's like literally that's what it's made for like if you're making a video for like if you're teaching somebody how to make an ak and they already know how to make an ak what's the point of that video right like they already know but if you're teaching somebody that doesn't know from scratch that's probably the best thing you can do in terms of like an educational video right like teach somebody that has no idea they walk in and they start playing around experimenting and then they become like there's people that watched me like two years ago when i started doing this kind of stuff and they're like yeah i'm a cybersec major now and i'm like Dude, congratulations. Awesome. You like got inspired. Great. That's awesome to see. And you're one of the first ones I think we've had where you're, you're like YouTube, you're pretty decently sized on YouTube. And still, when you were talking about your other jobs, because you're still working nine to fives or more on your other businesses. And YouTube is a secondary. That's how we started. I was like, yo, okay, you're actually doing that as your day to day. He's like, yeah, no. YouTube's it, just secondary side to, quest to add yeah. to that too, I like, yeah well to add to that yeah. you're the first youtuber i think i've ever met in person that i, I didn't previously know that has uh echoed the same psychology i've always had about it where it's like this is 15 minutes of fame this could disappear at any moment yeah we i mean we all fall off right like if i look at like even my numbers or anybody's numbers it's like you know pre-covid like higher then you start dwindling off and it's like there's no shame in that that's how it works nobody's a simpsons right but like you could be making a lot of money and be like an athlete and to burn it all and like be at the same square one you were before or like take some of that and like you know build a platform build like a safety safety like you know vest or whatever and just roll with that and then everything else later on becomes like a fun you know adventure for you right you're not making content for the sake of it you're making it because you actually enjoy the topic or what you want to make versus yeah it's a livelihood which yeah and that's why i love like all the guys down here it's one of my favorite things about y'all is it's like, we got money. What do we do? Well, naturally, the normal thing, spend it on another business that we can build more yeah. money and hire more people. Everyone's the same. It's like, let's acquire a business. Yeah, we're all let's fucking, let's... we're all filthy capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of shit yeah. at the end of the day. <laughs> Look at us profiteering off of the labor. <laughs> Giving people jobs. <laughs> Ugh, pieces of shit. Yeah, building <laughs> businesses. <laughs> Look at us evil. Employing <laughs> people. Yeah, it's sorry we worked really fucking hard and we made money. It's terrible. 
Brandon, can we talk about who's watching in the live audience? Sure. Yeah. For the first time, uh, I have uh, my parents that are here watching this. They've, they've, I've made jokes in the past. I'm like, it's really uncomfortable for me to record an unsub episode now because I know my parents watch every episode now. Do they want to come uh, on real quick? And do a quick uh, feature with the the parents. You're more than one. Come on out. Come, come on. on down. This is why I don't say fuck as much as I used to. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. <laughs> Brandon's, Brandon's right. mom looks like she's five years young, <laughs> older than that. This is why I don't bring her on camera. There's also I know the comments right now. <laughs> why do you think I don't bring him around? <laughs> no, there, there's, it's the, the running joke now because uh, it, it's been a running joke for a few years is that I call Cody's mom, mom, and yeah. then vice versa. So we're just, you know, brothers from another mother, literally. It's so, true. Yeah. Your it's, dad looks hella Asian, by the way. Dude, it's funny. We've <laughs> talked about that for years. Man. I got the whole time. Like, I walked in, I was like, huh. Looks like one of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you <laughs> Eli's dad, too? <laughs> I just need him to say the thing. <laughs> I am a Japanese man. I'm a Japanese man. <laughs> Definitely Filipino. <laughs> well, some of you don't want to tell us like that happened back then. Like, <laughs> uh, well, say hi. You guys can. What's up? What's up? You guys at what? We're proud of the boys. They're cra- Brandon's proud. Brand is crazy. Yeah. How is having a potential uh, congressman's son that also a, shit uh, posts <laughs> on the internet? <laughs> a shamed former congressional <laughs> candidate. <laughs> He hates veterans, by the way. Dude, I just want you guys to know that. It's so crazy. Like, uh, and when coming to the show, it's like, realize I'm sitting next to like somebody that can be in the U.S. like political system. It's like, bro, YouTube's a wild business to be in, man. <laughs> it's only going to get weirder. <laughs> I, I was, I was just kind of the little bit that broke the glass. It's going to get fucking weird in the next five years. I promise you that. So weird. How was it like when he started blowing up? Like, was it a, hey, this is fucking what our kiddos. How many people know his name now? And then you see those numbers behind it. Was it a like taken aback at first? I, I remember when YouTube was foo foo, <laughs> and that wasn't a real real business. But that's still happening. <laughs> it was kind of you know Brandon was Brandon. He's always been Brandon. The way he does everything, cuts up, shoots stuff, blows stuff up. You know that's what he did his whole life. So it was getting a little weird when he was going to hotels with us to Disney yeah. World, and people were like oh. Oh, you know, and then can, the, the, can I get a selfie and, and all that stuff? It was kind of weird. Or like that, that's Disney. when reality kicks in when people stop you in Disney or Hard Rock Hotel and they're like, uh, uh, uh. so that was kind of cool. But and then it happens more and more. Yeah, and we're like what's happening? It's crazy. This but, is uh, our Brandon. He kept us on our toes. His, uh, He's his, no one. You piece of shit. You're no one. They humble you. Imagine raising the AK Jesus. (laughs) You are way too religious to make that joke. (laughs) The AK Jesus, man. (laughs) Christ alive. I can't. Was he virgin birth? (laughs) (laughs) Brains like God. (laughs) I (laughs) speak a foreign language. They're like, right. Eli made that joke. That was Eli's sacrilege. No, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> They're like, that was Eli's sacrilege joke. <laughs> no, I love my parents. You guys, thank you so much for coming out. And we love out. you. <laughs> There's no way you guys can't make a shirt that says AK Jesus on it now. Oh, oh you'd no. be shocked. Our fo- so You guys have that? Oh, I have I, that. The that oh, the, oh, God. <laughs> I, God. It, so it won't e- matter. Eli, my political career will be over by the time that this comes back out. Back in the day when we first moved here, Eli was like, I got a great idea for a photo shoot. And we went over to Matt Best's house. This is a viral photo. It's been posted everywhere. It's actually one of my favorite pictures of our group. <laughs> Truly, it is. It's very controversial. <laughs> I, I literally, I had another fellow congressional candidate uh, reach out to me. He was a very, very, very nice man. I really do like him a lot. And he, uh, he, he showed the photo to me. So, like, so... Uh, he's very religious, very religious. He's like, mm-hmm. so what's this all about? I'm kind of autistic, like, oh, so like nothing, normal shit doesn't register. I'm like, oh, that's a, just a good photo. It's a hilarious <laughs> picture. <laughs> we weren't hating on religion. No, we just I was like, was Brandon funny. here, rap this. This is like. Because that's I, always been like a, a like a, a, a internet moniker of my, like people are like, oh, he's just AK Jesus. Because I always wear flip flops and had long hair and I guess slightly brown. <laughs> that's, that's fucking brilliant, dude. It's, it's a good uh, photo. 
Yeah, he's, but he, like he, he's walking on water. He's got the AK. He's, it's just, he's, it's pulling, actually, he's saving. He's, yeah, that was a uh, photo. that was Matt Best's I think throw rug over his uh, over his couch that I'm wearing. Yeah, it was because we walked out. I was like Gallagher, okay, dude. Like I was telling Gallagher what I wanted, and then you your response was like, I have no idea what this is gonna turn out. I was like, got you. <laughs> like I, I've, and we barely knew each other at the time. Like, man, I uh, I got a lot of faith in you right now. Because also, when I was wearing that, I'm like, bro, I go commando. So if you need me to ditch these fucking pants, this is this is gonna get fucking weird fast, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> and then Gallagher did the actual like Photoshop of it. It turned yeah. out fucking immaculate. He's like, is that good? I'm like, it's fucking everything I ever wanted. And it was fine until your campaign started. That's when it became unfine. That's the thing. From everything we've done together, that's the thing that was unfine. I, don't know I haven't people. seen that in a mailer, mailer yet. You hate veterans, not oh. us. <laughs> Bro, Eli, have you seen the new mailer? No. The new what? Mailer There's that, a new mailer? That his opponent said. There's like out. a Hispanic pack or whatever that's just like, we want Hispanic leadership, so fuck this Herrera guy. <laughs> wait, he's... Wait, they're shitting on... Brandon Mexi Herrera Br mocking the veterans... That is so fucked up, man. I mean, I'm looking at this Welcome mailer. Welcome to politics. We just left a... a Side speaking engagement for veterans. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna read you guys the quote. Out. I think about often putting a gun in my mouth. So basically, I'm an honorary veteran. <laughs> well, when you say it like that, well, I mean, I hell. Well, and and the, the, the fucked up part of it, and where I'm like, congratulations, unsubs in the news. Um, well, what, what, what was fucked up is I actually, I was actually just talking to one of one of my biggest detractors, apparently. And I, I, I mentioned that because well, he, he, he had mentioned, he's like, so what, 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 what do you have to say about this? I'm like, yeah, I was joking on a podcast that, by the way, I partially own. You know, it's not like a hot, like a hot mic moment. It's like I was joking about a joke that I didn't make because I said it was too far around my veteran friends who said I should have said it because I, I donated my time at SHOT Show to speak at a veteran prevention conference it's like this is completely this is fucking oh we it, showed up to this there was nothing like we wanted to do it for sarah and tim and everyone they were like hey do you want to do this and great that was people great yeah people. we love them and then they just asked us like 100 percent, we're gonna do this no questions asked yep. even if it is 10 in the morning at shot show which is a very hard time to wake up at <laughs> shot show time's fucking different <laughs> yeah at 10 a.m you're like <laughs> but no we were all happy to do it we were all happy to be a part of that That's panel so awesome and you cry like we complimented the shit out of you. I was like, even once you left, I was like, man, he did a fucking really good. Tim leaned over. He's like, fucking Brandon killed it. I was like, yes, that was perfectly done. Cody, like everyone just covered down, did an amazing job. We had laughs. We had a good time. And then afterwards, we left the podcast and had a good time. Yeah. And at the end of a two-hour <laughs> podcast, I make a joke about a joke I didn't say. People clip seven seconds, and it's like, well, I can't fucking believe it. It's like, oh, God. That's like so social you, media shit in general, right? It's like people much. clip you like, you could you could be speaking for like two hours, and like, bro, you say something fucked up in five seconds. That's what's going to be on the internet. That's just going to be floating around. Well, your content, uh, watching, well, going back to kind of algorithm, but the AI-based stuff on uh, Gemini and watching how it was yeah. based. So I didn't know it was going off of Reddit. And then once you said that, I was like, this makes so much fucking sense. Because <laughs> it was sourcing Reddit as one of the... Well, that's where they got their biggest deal from, right? Like Gemini made like the, I think it was like a $70 million deal with like... Google, like Reddit and Google are now buddy buddy, and they're every time you make a so, fucking post. Well, Gemini is Google based, right? Gemini oh, is, is this, Google, is this yeah. the no white people thing? Yeah, the yeah. Google Gemini AI, where there was like, um, draw me a Nazi, and then it would make like, you know, me wearing the swastika. <laughs> so, you know, I would have. Well, to I be would, fair, <laughs> you wearing the swastika would mean something very different historically. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about like a swastika, like rotated a little yeah. bit 45 oh, degrees. With that's arrows pointing, pointing up. Yeah, yeah that's when it gets down. fucked up. <laughs> the, the windmill of friendship. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, wind, windmill of friendship goes into like hatred real fucking quick. <laughs> it, like, dude, I was cracking up. She was like, show me a Viking. It's like four black Vikings, and you're just like just go on just questioning this. I'm like, I, like like look i get it i get the understanding of like so the way that the ai works it's like they probably added like a diversity clause to it or something right because it's like when you're generating like make an image in times square there's probably different races everywhere in times square you take a photo of times square right now you're gonna find a lots of me's and you's and everyone right <coughs> 
But there's a big difference between draw me an image of Times Square in 2024 and the Vikings from back in the <laughs> olden days. Because like I literally have to like go, like I went like it's a shame that I have to go to Google and like look up the Vikings. I'm like, boy, boys, they're from like modern day Denmark. Okay, the last I checked, my people were not piloting ships to that north like we were, we were like that's too fucking cold for us okay i don't care how much they like piracy we don't that's too oh cold for us <laughs> you're becoming one of the favorite uh, guests right well, now well like well, like, I we, wasn't we, prepared for well like well like we were one of the people behind like the compass and sundial so we're like go, go south that's warmer you know works for us <laughs> Uh, it was if you haven't Reddit made a lot of sense. So the second you said it's like it's based, it's using Reddit as it's like learning algorithm. And mm. You're like, oh, this makes way more sense when it kicks back certain stuff because you're like, uh, what's like is Barack Obama black? And it'd be like, yes, and this. And then you ask, was it George Washington or who? who well, else? it's like is George Washington white? It's like, well, George Washington had like a weird biracial angle, and and then it started like sourcing like his, his kids. Kid. And I was like, wasn't maybe, it his like adopted? Yeah, kid? like his adopted kid. Maybe they might have went it. But I'm like, last I checked, like the founding fathers, like they were pretty white. Yeah, they're they're pretty white as it gets. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it wasn't until 300 years they were like, all right, we can add like another. Now, race Thomas America. Jefferson, <laughs> yeah, his bloodline gets a little muddy, <laughs> <Yeah>. but <laughs> crossing the Delaware with Mexican, <laughs> a completely different photo. <laughs> I, I, I really, I really want to see the AI generated George Washington crossing the Rio Grande. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we like, we gotta get to like, the yeah. border, boys. <laughs> and that's like the the, 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 the whole Antonio. AI generation, right? It's like it just generates like all the diverse like thing and races for like, and that's where like you know when you're pro like what people don't get about like the AI stuff is it's not like you know AI from like a sci-fi show. It's like you feed it a bunch of data and you get a bunch of programmers that write how that data is supposed to be processed. So if you add like those diversity clauses, awesome. you're gonna have funny jokes like that, right? And I understand why, like, Google turns it off and they're like, okay, let's cook this for another six months until we get rid of some of the <laughs> stupidest shit and then we can come back. Because the first like, one you brought up, it was back in what, 2015, 16, the AI in, uh, image generation where it was like glumping photos together of like. Oh, the, the, so the Google photos. And for people who need to know this, it's like, this is how wild it was. If you were like, you know, an African American like couple, right? And you took a photo of yourself and you're like, damn, this is really fucking cute. You upload it to Google Photos. There could be a chance, like years later, you open up that app and it's like, oh shit, when did I go see Gorillas at the Zoo? That's when you find out it's just me. They, they started. It would tag you as gorillas. Like it yeah, would tag it was black people as gorillas. Yeah, yeah. That's, so 2016. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You oh didn't my notice? god. Yeah. No, I, I did so not. So it was just the black community. Yeah. And Google was like. <laughs> Got it. The, you here? You're in this sector of photos now. And then like, yo, 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 what the fuck is going on? So they, that's why they turned off AI based. Image. Yeah, that's how like well, the AI. Uh, there's also <laughs> like uh, it was like Google. it was like human <laughs> gorilla. And if I took a photo, it's like call center. Like it would start doing that. You know, it's like that's how it would pitch you. Because I, I, I know you've done some stuff with uh, like uh, internet historian, right? Uh huh. It was his video about Tay, like the AI Microsoft. I think it was Tay, the AI. Uh, yeah, the way it went like bot. crazy in 24 hours. Went from oh, like wholesome yeah. posting to like because like 4chan yeah. and Re uh, like 4chan got a hold of it, and then uh -huh. all of a sudden it was just oh my god. That hey, was what, what would happen is it's like, oh, how's the weather? Like at 8 a.m. and then like literally 24 hours later, it's like, so about that Fourth Reich, boys, let's get that <laughs> fucking going. How's the weather? Yeah. Scratch that. I got more important things to worry about. Yeah. The weather. Yeah, all of a sudden, Tay, it's like, wow, it's beautiful to see technology advancing in this way. How are you? If you had five ovens in four years and you had to bake six million cookies, it's like, holy shit. Just take it. Take it. Yeah, it's like Microsoft jumps in. It's like, all right, we, we probably. And it's one of those things where it's like, I bet it's like a wholesome group of engineers. It's like, I bet you nothing can go wrong. And then like, <laughs> they high five afterwards. Like, dude, let's they, do they it. Nah, like, this is a rad. group of en engineers. You know, there were like half of them that are like, bro, this is going to go fucking off the rails. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to get fucking wild. Maybe that's what they did with the Google stuff. They had like a few guys who were like, this is going to be fucking meme material in the next 24 hours. Let's, and then they got the call from head office. They're like, all right, you got to cut this shit off. Fun hey, time's pull, over, pull boys. The, pull the plug. Pull the fucking <laughs> plug right now. Pull the plug. <laughs> and, that, and that was the end of it. No, was it? Dude, I refuse to believe there's anybody working at these companies like 
Bro, if I was working at Google, you know who I'd hire? I'd hire, like, the quality assurance check for, like, the most obscene material. I'd have somebody working prompts every day. I'm like, I want you to type in the most obscenely racist shit and see if, like, our thing makes that so we don't look bad in front of the public. So right? to our like, audience, you have a job. <laughs> That's what we're hiring for? <laughs> no, for, no, for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, there's a job opening for you. you know? I've I seen the way you guys get around the sensors. It's like, no, I finally know how to become a contractor now. <laughs> hey, I got this like, now. All right, type in the most obscenely racist shit. And I'm like, mm. it's like I am ready for this. You're, you're, my, you're, you're literally you're sensors. Cody's floating already. Yeah, yeah. Just, he's ascending to the next plane of employment. <laughs> I know what to do when YouTube shits me out. Okay. So I can make a lot of money doing this. <laughs> Wait, we need N1. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you open a nice bottle of wine. It's like, all right, it's time to start the evening. <laughs> <laughs> race the I just need to relax, babe. Leave me alone. <laughs> Someone bring me down. <laughs> Uh, licking them fingertips. <laughs> Dude, I, Dude, but you know what? So it's so wild. It's like there's going to be once this stuff goes like super open source and everyone gets their hands on the code. Could you just imagine like actual like really fucked up people getting their hands on it and like using it to like the worst advantage? Like I I am. Uh, it's going to be a few years <clears throat> before it happens, but I think it's going to get like way worse. Like we're memeing about it right now, but I think there's going to be like genuinely fucked up dudes that are going to be generating some really <laughs> fucked up shit over through Because it's, like, I don't know if you guys saw, like, the, the new Sora open AI stuff, like those really yeah. good videos. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Dude. The dogs in snow. Bro, that, that was literally the one I used earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, just, I just pictured the beginning of T2. <laughs> it's the robots walking, and they're just <laughs> yelling the N-word. <laughs> 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 Yeah, the like, robots are there. just killing people, yelling the N word. Like, 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 AI, AI took over. <laughs> it's like, this is all that happened. Oh, God. <laughs> but nobody knows about it because all of the censors for all news outlets have the N word blocked. So they're yeah. able to eliminate half the, few, the human population before anyone knows about it. These you racist know, robots are you killing know, it's, like, it's wild because like, there used to be like this old game, like 2001 Metal Gear Solid 2, bro. That shit predicted the future. We live in like AI feeds and algorithms. Mm. Like, dude. Every time you open your app, it's like the, the this is the thing. I don't open up news anymore because it's like every time I open it up, it's like a curated feed. So I always try to like open up twenty different sources to get like any like anytime a world event happens, I'm like check every single search engine for everything different because like it's there's gonna differ drastically. So a fellow yeah. DuckDuckGo user, a fellow DuckDuck. I mean, hey man, I'm in, one of my biggest things was deep web browsing. You bet your ass, I'm a DuckDuckGo kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I didn't even think Metal Gear Solid 2 was like forefront of like, hey, this is going to be an issue. Kojima was like, here you go. You have just touched his tism oh, yeah. in a way that we can't put back in the box. Dude, leave it, it to like some <laughs> Japanese game developer to like predict the fucking future like 20 years in advance. Crazy this is in shit. 2003. He said like yeah. AI is going to be an issue. And when it went off the rails in that, like it starts speaking randomly through using other people. It has fucking face generated AI. I forgot about that. Remember the codec because it's the kernel's AI. Yeah, based. yeah, yeah. In the Holy second game, shit. yeah, all of it is like actual real time, like human generated faces. So like even videos yeah. and shit like that. And who was it? Uh, <laughs> thanks, Kojima. <laughs> Thank you, Kojima. What the fuck? It was the guy who wrote, wrote uh, Dune. Is it Frank Herbert? Frank Herbert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was uh, predicting computers would take over all of basically all of everything yeah, in a few thousand years in the nineteen fifties, sixties. Yeah, yeah, sixties. I'll nerd yeah. out on this one. So they had the Butlerian Jihad. We also just saw Dune too, like. Two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. In, a, in a time period there, they wiped out all computers because AI started taking over. And so that's why in Dune, they have the guys that like, I don't know if you remember Dune one where the guy, he rolls his eyes in the back of his head, yeah. and the Mentats. So they have human computers now because they cannot, they, they just don't have computers in that future. So they eliminated computers and just hired Asians. Basically. Abacuses yeah. and everything, brother. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> doing math. Yeah. <laughs> Reading the future. Ones and zeros. I got it. I love how hard you nerd out about Dune. That is your tism <laughs> on everything. Tism. Yes. Because you oh, know, yeah. you, like, I, I mean, he was my translator in Dune, too. I'm just kind of like, Cody, what the fuck's happening? He's just like, well, all right. So, 4,000 years before this, <laughs> the front row's like, shh. <laughs> I was leaving it over to Brandon. I was like, all right, here's what's happening right now. And I was like laying out the history for him. I knew, I knew that you were like, 
kind of like self-conscious about like, I don't want to be that guy. I appreciated it because I didn't know what the fuck was happening half the time. It if is you, if you don't know Dune, the movies don't make fucking sense at all. It is but a I, lot of lore. I, I read them when I was like 14 and I've reread them since then. So I'm like five. I've, I've reread the Dune series like five times now. Yeah, you get so high. That was the first movie I seen you super hyped about, like super hyped. You're like, I got tickets. Me and Brandon had a great conversation. <laughs> and you're like, yeah. We were like, okay, Cody's getting tickets. And Brandon's like, okay, like like 7.30. And you're like, got it. I got it for nine. We're watching Dune and nine. <laughs> Cody's like, this is my time. No one's switching how this plays out. I got my seats. I got my tickets. So like, because my girl still got a real job and everything. And I'm just like, oh shit, I could probably get there at like 7 3. You're like, 9 15. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a three hour saga. Dude, 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 dude. dude. still made it work. It was fun. That was a good, that was a good night. Was he a good dressed time. as a sandworm. He was crazy. He did. Yeah, yeah he, he fucked the popcorn I was, bucket. I was rolling <laughs> around as a sandworm. Dude, I gotta watch the first one even. He hasn't really? watched the first no one. Shit. I don't watch it. Oh my god, he put it away. Would you like the black cherry? Huh? Would you like the black cherry? I'm sorry. Absolutely. Jesus. Hey, no matter your relationship status or your thoughts on Valentine's Day, we can all agree some things are better together. A blockbuster movie and popcorn. But you know what else is a perfect match? The unsubscribe book. <laughs> and my sweet Raycon everydays. I truly use my everyday earbuds each day at the gym. Why? Because they don't fall out of my ear. Watch this. Locked in, bro. Locked in. One of the other reasons is because they are so comfortable. With optimal gel tips. For the perfect in-ear fit. Eight hours of play time and 32 hours of battery life. And most importantly, you get amazing quality audio at half the price of other premier audio brands. Little, you get around the block, don't you? They have tens of thousands of five-star reviews, three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and awareness mode. Go to buyraycon.com slash unsub and get 15% off your Raycon order and get free shipping too. Again, buy Raycon. Com slash unsub. No, it's been to make sure that uh, fucking Cody doesn't kill our guest for the third time in the podcast history. He's, like, he's like, I got the nine millimeter. Yeah, don't worry about me. Can, we have to delete those episodes. <laughs> it's terrible. We haven't done a. <laughs> we just do like an audience. augmented reality thing with like our our our, uh, our audience. Like, oh yeah, the deleted podcast. You guys should do about. like an episode in the fucking yeah. metaverse, bro. Like, you guys should just embrace that shit. In the metaverse, you guys should, you guys should make that popular. Bro. Are we gonna get <laughs> there? Dude, a hundred percent. Bro, that was my favorite video about the metaverse. Like the, bro, I'm so glad you brought it up. I spent like Cody, a few oh. words, but when he says them, no, 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 but it's, it's true. Like, it's, no, but he's not kidding. Like, Jesus for a week, Christ, yeah. another time. For a week, I tried. Like, I tried. Like, for a week, I agree. Like, I knew that I, for a week, I tried getting fucking legitimately like in the metaverse. Like, I tried, dude. I tried to be as. What were you wearing? Well, <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I was, looking like, I was looking like a cute boy in, in, fucking, uh, in fucking Mark's world. Let me tell you. Mark. No, but like, I remember in when Mark's that, world. Yeah, dude. Well, no, no, okay, like, when the whole Horizon Worlds thing happened back then, and it was like the whole meme was like, dude, you can get like harassed on the metaverse. Like, every time internet harassment comes up to me, I, I remember the Tyler, the creator tweet where he's like, bro, just log off the fucking dude, internet. Dude. <laughs> Dude, did we just off. become best friends? <laughs> I think we did. I, just power time, down. When, when, the, when they put that tweet out where it was like, girl <laughs> in the metaverse, the, the UK police are, are investigating. I posted the Tyler, the creator tweet. <laughs> He's like, take your head and like, walk away, turn, like, close your eyes, turn the screen off. You know, like, when, when I saw that whole thing, I'm like, I'm like, man, the UK police has got to have, like, an extraordinary fucking budget to be wasting their time investigating it. Because it's like, dude, if somebody said, if somebody calls me, like, whatever on the internet, I just log off. Like, I, I'm like, I swipe up on the phone. I fucking do my own thing. And I, I, that's it. Well, but when like, you're not allowed to look into acid attacks, they have a lot of extra time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is Man, true. where did he touch you? In here. But it's like, dude, <laughs> like, I went on there for like, 
Like I went onto the Horizon Worlds metaverse, and it's like, dude, I spent a week trying to get fucked up on there. Like I spent a week trying to like. You're trying to get in- graped. Like, literally, I just made sure you walking around so in sh- a skirt. Dude, I, I literally <laughs> hey, did. boys, like, I'm a <laughs> submissive and breedable dude. This bussy was open. Bro, bro, I, I, did, I did my best, but the problem is the world was so dead that there wasn't even like anybody there. I would log into the metaverse, and it would just be dead. Like it was literally like it's like a liminal space, you know. So I'm just sitting there. I'm like, bro, what server are you logging into where this is like really fucked up? <laughs> You're going on like Reddit to find out what fucking servers to log into for predators to attack you. To yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> What's this? Muda Ussi? Yeah. Yeah, Muda yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. I'm trying to like, you know, fucking get it. T- and that's one like I re- I'm like, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, we can't be treating this shit seriously, bro. Like we can't be treating the, the metaverse attacks. Like, dude, just lock yeah. off. Like it is what it is. But you know what it actually is. You know, people are getting a fucking email that are uh, uh, reporters that are 47 years old that are like, whoa, this metaverse is what I heard about. And like, they yeah. have never fucking had any experience with it. No. And it's like, oh, oh, oh obviously well, this is like, a real yeah. problem because I know that this is a new popular thing. Well, it's like the same people. Yeah. It's like, I got shot dead in Los Santos, boys. Like the other day I was driving in GT online. Somebody blew up my fucking car, dude. I was, I was, I was like participant to a criminal like gang shooting me. It's like, dude, it's a video game. Like, log the fuck off. I'm you PTSD know? now. Yeah, I'm sure, you should have called the police. Blast <laughs> in Grand Theft Auto. You're like, I'm sorry. Thank you for your service. And back Although, to the Tyler the Creator tweet. <laughs> 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 like, off. How did that start again? <laughs> <laughs> no, the metaverse stuff was the metaverse oh. stuff. Was. Oh. <laughs> we we have to give you. So we have we haven't done the offenders in a while. The offenders? oh shit yeah we haven't done the, the offenders. offenders the past couple podcasts. What is no. the offenders? It's our superhero oh, group. Boy. It is the Avengers, but broken. So we all have. We amazing- don't save anyone either. <laughs> no, we try. We try our damnedest. So all of us <laughs> has superpowers. Cody can fly. There's an offset to how he can fly. Okay. You have super speed. I have super speed. Brandon. I'm invincible. Invincible. Mm-hmm. Cody has to use, yell racial slurs in order to fly. So okay. His power is only activated for that. I have super speed. I can't interact with anything five minutes from using my power. What is, what is it? The crime cuck. Yeah, crime cuck. So I'm like, <laughs> stop that. And I just phase through <laughs> stuff for five minutes as I try to dial phones or anything. <laughs> Cody can't save minorities. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, he can. <laughs> he can. He, just, he can. just has to deal with a whole lot of shit that comes out afterwards. Yeah, so he has to deal with Twitter for three days. <laughs> Yeah, so if I go to a Section 8 housing development and it's, it's on you're fire, fucked, dude. You're it's on fire, <laughs> and I want to save the children, it's like... I, I, Fly yeah. over, you're like, it's not uh, worth it. No. Oh, no. Shit. I just love the wide shot of Cody walking up with a ladder, and they're like, just fly, you can fly. He's like, <laughs> not nope. today. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope. Not happening. <laughs> and then Brandon just resets a lot. Yeah. Uh, whenever I... <laughs> I uh, sorry, G-Van. <laughs> I, I, I just <gasps> back to life, uh, but in my own bed, and I uh, have no memory of what happened before. And his other body still stays. <laughs> so it's really awkward when it's like my body and a ceiling fan still hanging there, <laughs> just like so swinging funny. around the room. That's fucking insane. Not dude. today. That's how you know you're like, oh, yesterday was a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. We didn't handle Thursday well. <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you not have like any recollection of why? No, no, no. Not. Not. You, 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 so you wake up screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up the next day, it's two bodies. <laughs> You're like, how fucked up Didn't is my week? Clean the first. <laughs> you always so, at your former self. That, that, that being said, what superpower have you always wanted? I think I always wanted invisibility, dude. Like, just the ability to go completely invisible at any given moment. Why, like, you fucking perv? <laughs> well, I mean, I think you answered the question. <laughs> well, like, we, to be fair. We, we're going to have to find one. We have um, Angry Cops has invisibility. Of and course he does. In order to activate it, he has to <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> so no matter what, it's very quiet. He's like invisible, but you just hear... <laughs> 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 He's near. <laughs> you don't see him. It's like a fucking it's like, it's like sonar. Sonar. <laughs> just hear like, it no, bro. It's not bro. Right like, I mean, you're yeah. right here. Like, oh fuck. <laughs> no, bro. I mean, being invisible. It's like you can do. Like, there's a lot of tactical advantages you have in a situation, right? Like, 
thought I was a superhero and there was a hostage situation, being invisible, greatest fucking ass in the world. I could be like that and like, <laughs> you know, when I go on, when I, when I, when I stop doing that and I'm like, you know, visible, then I can like start snapping necks and shit. Right. Like that's. The second that's that sound like, yeah. starts, you're, you're oh, just yeah. a naked Indian yeah. dude. <laughs> Behind he's, people. He's, dude, he's fucking... He's the embodiment of Instagram real comments. Yeah. Dude, 100%. Dude, in for G. God, I, I fucking hate my own kind for ruining online dating. <laughs> Bro, like, I'll, I'll be real. Like, nothing makes you a nothing oh. makes you a self hating Indian guy than like Instagram, dude. You delete that app any day. There could be like, dude, it could be like a fucking blonde girl graduating her like fucking high school or like college or whatever. Dude, three scrolls down. <laughs> please, please, Ray Skirt, present Virgin. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking offended. I fucking hate my own people. I, I, I feel like half of half of Indian Instagram is like just LARPing as Andrew Tate. Dude, it, it 100% is. It's like, you know, they get access to like a pair of sunglasses and shit and like a halfway decent like fucking cell phone and it's like now you're Game on over. cloud nine, baby. It's like you're the fucking king of Mumbai. It's like, fuck me. Oh, God. I gotta, I gotta show you my girlfriend's DMs sometime. Oh, God. Bro, lots, of, <laughs> lots of boobs and vagina there. Bro, it's like, I remember like an ex girlfriend of mine was like, my, my, like, it was like Tinder. She was like, I asked me about it because like, you just like the topic came up. She was like, tell me about it. I'm like, I get like no matches on there because I'm like, bro, it's like, look at me. I'm like ethnically challenged. Like, my people <laughs> have fucked me on this app, okay? I'm already unmatchable, all right? It's never going <laughs> to fucking happen. Like, why would I get on the app? I've already been fucked by my own the, guy. The, like, bro, these people see the city of Toronto and they're still expecting Bob's. You, and you match and you send it. It's like, Bob's and Virgin? JK, let me see that puss, girl. <laughs> bro, like, damn it. <laughs> Bro, like it, it's a, it's like such a shame too because like every time like I see, like it's it just every time I see it happen, I'm like, dude, you guys, you gotta understand. Like I understand there's like a language barrier, right? There is, right? Like Sanskrit is not English. I get it, but like, bro, Bob's and Virgin, like you gotta have better game than that, dude. Like I, I like I brought this no, up to I, my I parents. Just, I respect your people for casting a wide net. No, you respect my people for making sure your fucking servers stay up every <laughs> week, right? Like, Jesus. Listen, India is responsible for a lot of you things. You shut the okay? fuck up, Brandon. This is why you respect my people. Brandon, like, for, listen. For no, especially when it comes to NordVPN. Boom! The year's 2024. Do you know what that means? A new look for you. Manscaped has the 5.0 Lawnmower Ultra. That's right, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is a man's cheat code to looking good, feeling good, and have all the confidence. Whether you're looking to maintain a trim or make sure everything's gone, this has you covered. Trusted by 10 million men worldwide. I actually use this. I endorse this. I use all their products. Equipped with two skin safe blade heads, a standard one for taking a little bit off the top, and a new foil blade to take everything off comfortably. And for the dudes out there that want a full grooming experience, look no further than Manscaped's Performance Package 5.0. In that grooming kit, you get the trusted lawnmower, Manscaped's ears and nose hair trimmers, and essential aftercare products with the Crop Soother, Ball Aftershave Lotion, and Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant. Head over to manscaped.com and use code UNSUB and get yourself 20% off and free shipping. Oh, I love free shipping. Make your balls and your spouse happy. Yeah, bro. G my, my people are working. Right? We got NordVPN <laughs> and Aurora yeah. at the same yeah. time, dude. My people are working Aurora, around the ball. clock to make sure your servers run, dude. They're just like it's kind of like how like the wife is a big game of World of Warcraft. Every race has its perks and its negatives. Like our perk is plus thirty IT, negative seventy fucking Riz, <laughs> negative one, which is fucking spectacular because you breed better than anyone else. Bro, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta thank arranged marriages for that, dude. You gotta, you gotta you guys thank. All have the, like fucking six kids, like <laughs> what, what, one point seven billion. No, but in you your gotta, continent. you gotta thank the arranged marriages for that shit, bro. Like if it's already locked in, why do you gotta work hard on anything, bro? You're already getting married. You're already making kids. Come on now. It's fair enough. It's that, that one. The, more, the less time you have to dedicate to dating, the more time you can reach out to me about, about my car's extended warranty. Dude, I, I showed the Bobs <laughs> and Vagines to my like mom and dad. I'm like, hey, dad, this is like what guys my age do now back home. And my dad's like, dude, these kids are fucking losers. Like, this is why the birth rate's going to drop, because these guys have no fucking riz. Like, Jesus Christ. The riz. And the, it's... <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's go back to the stupid <laughs> 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 You really want to reel that one back? I mean, then I was like, like, Eli, stop. Listen, though, Eli, that's, stop. Like, bro, that, that's like my that's like my negative superpower. In order to get invisibility, I have to scream Bob's and Vagina out in public. I have to self immolate myself in the public, like socially, in order to fucking do that. Like, At least you're not doing it. <laughs> oh. I came here. Step and out filmed. for that one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Congressman. <laughs> I'll say that I have like kind of strong beliefs. Like for people that don't know my background, I'm like Islamic background. Like you can probably figure that up on my name if you're watching. Um, so I, I have care for the people there, but it's like I made this. So like weeks you ago, you made a very middle. Like hey, here. I did, yeah. Like my whole thing was like, so this was a period where like Hassan Piker, a big popular communist socialist commentator, and a you know somebody a rich. Communist. Very rich, very rich guy. I'm on, and the thing is, I'm on like good terms. Like I'm on good terms with a yeah. lot of people, but like, with, with, he made a take where he was like, after streaming for like 12 hours, my batteries get drained, and I was just like, I don't really agree. Like I worked in a fucking 60 hour work week where it was like, bro, you come home from work, it's like, dude, I want to out, right? Like, fuck that shit. You're a veteran too. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, I'm an honorary <laughs> veteran. Honorary veteran. So much in common. Fuck you guys. <laughs> 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 but like, but like, even with his situation, it's like I, I'm just sitting over there. I'm like, dude, this is to be a YouTuber and streamer, like a podcaster, bro. We had like the most blessed job in existence. Like, if if I didn't best, do like a nine to five every day, best you know my, job I ever best had. job I ever had. Best job you know, ever had. You, you know what my days are like. Like, it's lit and it's thankful to a lot of people that watch me. It's waking up, scratching my fucking ass, and going like damn, I want to talk about some crazy shit today, right? Like, that's the best job in existence, right? So, you know, I get it. You're streaming for 12 hours a day. You probably don't want to fucking say hi to anybody afterwards, right? But it's like, dude, that is the kind of social optics you probably never want to have. So anyways, out of all that, like, his fan base, and I'm not blaming him for it, like, fan bases are different. His fan base is like, what do you think about, like, Palestine? You haven't said anything about it. And I'm like, dude, what do you want me to do? Fucking, like... Be the fucking peace, be like the guy they send in the Middle East to like discuss peace. I'm like, get out of here. So I made like a Discord meme. It took like five minutes because, you know, I'm playing a match of Siege and like <laughs> got a whole, you know, surprisingly, yeah, playing a fucking game of Siege and, you know, we're talking about peace talks. Mudahar becomes ambassador to <laughs> Lebanon. Dude, and like I posted like literally 100,000 likes. Like everyone enjoys it, but it's like a whole bunch of people like, how could you not say anything? And I'm like, Dude, you guys are with flags in the bio talking about Palestine. I'm like, and I like throw up a receipt from like weeks ago. I'm like, I gave 10 grand to like Palestinian charities, right? Like the UN like aid charities. Cause I'm like, that's more worth it. Like you have to make sure your charity goes to the right place. So it's like you spend time. And like for me, charity is like, I you, dude, you take it so serious, which is super I, fucking awesome. I spend, I want to say doesn't like, just virtue yeah. signal. Online. Like for that's me, it's like, thing. The receipts, Crazy. if I could tabulate them up every year, you know, like the mo like during COVID, I probably gave away two hundred thousand dollars of charity, and it was like out of my personal accounts. I don't write any of this off for taxes because I don't believe in writing off charity for taxes. I think it's a pretty you shitty should. thing to do. Well, for me, it's like the, the more people, money yeah. you can write off, the more money you can keep from the government and spend it better. You know, well, like, putting it toward yeah, more like charity. The money that I probably put towards like charity, charitable organizations, is always like. It's meant mostly for me and like my personal stuff, and I don't make like a big stink out of it because I don't think you should be doing like charity solely for like. There's a difference between doing a charity and being socially aware about it. Like you guys do veteran stuff, which is like you're raising the awareness, you're talking about it. But this is like didn't mean shit to me apparently. I mean, you're, you clearly fucking hate veterans. So <laughs> yeah. I don't want to fucking. I don't care if you I can raise enough money bucks. for idea. It doesn't matter. It's it's all right. Yeah. You donate a billion dollars, like Brandon really hates well, veterans. That, that just like, proves that, that the like, oh, it, it just feels like that fucking meme. Yeah. Or the, the the video of like the, the the rock giant like holding back the fucking rock. And you're just like getting arrows in the back. You're like, fuck this shit, man. I, whatever. No, that that just proves that the internet isn't real life. No. Like no God. matter how much good we do, because I've donated like like tens of thousands of dollars to you know police charities and stuff like that. Yeah, at but a it's time. it's never good at a time per video. Yeah. You do that every like. Co if, can we talk about like when there's an officer involved in a shooting that gets injured? Cody's. You're donating half of your ad revenue or ad read for that. And it's like tens of thousands of dollars every time that happens. You're like, I want to take care of these guys. I want to take care of yeah. these guys. Yeah, but it just proves the internet isn't real. Like, it's not real life. So he's donating all this money. I'm donating this money. Like, we all donate money to these 
you know, these causes, but it's never good enough. It's never good enough for the internet. No. And right. they, they will shit on us so hard. When but it's where's like, your profile pic? And you're like, yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. I put a black <laughs> square in your Bro, profile. When I, when I, posted I, uh, a, I truly believe you hate minorities. <laughs> yeah. No, when I, when I posted a receipt, it was like a bunch of quote tweets. It was like, bro, you're only doing this because people called you. And I'm like, dude, it was made weeks ago. Like, I'm just doing this to show you like this. This versus a flag in the bio does a lot more, you know, paying for like eight supplies does a lot more. But, like, the only reason I don't ever, like, talk about it is because, like, I always believe that there's, like, at least for this situation, there was a very serious component to it that I didn't feel educated about. So I'm like, I'm not going to. And, like, to be real, like, my a lot like my closest friend, Corey, like his, you know, and, like, a lot of my close friends, like even Nux, for instance, on my podcast, he's, like, he's got situations where, like, you know, family members are dying in a situation. So I'm like, dude, I, I understand there's, like, a really serious part to this, and it's, like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to play this like it's team sports, right? Like it's a fucking baseball team versus another baseball team. There's a really complicated topic. So, you know, and the weirdest part is like asking somebody who's like a fucking gamer, deep web browser, like Internet guy, like to ask them about this. It's like, bro, you're you're you just want somebody to validate your opinions in the world. Right. Yes. That's it. If I gave you an opinion and it wasn't for you, then all that mattered was I didn't validate your worldview, and that's all that it came down to. And now you're you angry know? about it because you didn't validate it. Which, uh, like talking to you last night, it was it was an awesome experience because, again, YouTube is your secondary. You're like, this is what I care for. Your businesses, you have multiple, and yeah. you're like, oh, I do this on the side. We didn't even talk about that shit last night. It was like everything else you do, and then a little bit of the research for. 401ks and uh, or whatever the charity thing. Yeah, 501ks. Yeah, 501 it's like it's doing the charity work and then you deep diving into it because we talked about. I was like, man, there's some veteran charities out there you would have a blast with to show how they fuck shit up royally or yeah. just spend it on. I don't know. And a lot, and that that's one of the biggest uh, biggest lies with charity groups is like there's you have to be very careful about what charity group you get behind because the vast majority don't spend the money where you think. The vast majority, you know, I, I would I would say honestly, from my from my experience, the vast majority spend it on salaries, on board members, on all sorts of stuff, on advertising for the charity to bring more money into it so they could spend more on board seats and whatever. What do it's, you it's call a it? nightmare? Yeah, we call it a ninety ten charity. So ninety percent goes to admin fees and ten percent yeah. goes to the actual charity. Because <laughs> yeah. for the people that are deciding where the money goes, <laughs> we have they want a job. It's, and it's fucking insane. It's like you you think you're you're curing cancer, but at the end of the day, all you're doing is inflating a bunch of people who are really good at talking about cancer. It, it, it's just it's like so months ago I covered this guy called the completionist, right? Like this was a well beloved like gaming YouTuber, like made his whole gimmick was like, I play video games to 100%, whatever. So Love, this. Like, this guy's one of the second generation old OG YouTubers. It's not like, yeah, this is like video John game Tron nerds, era like, gaming tuber. Yeah. yeah. But massive, like so, massive and beloved. And then. But have we heard from his wife as to whether or not she was a completionist? <laughs> I. <laughs> yeah, that's 100% of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, don't he, I don't think he 100%. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at all his games. He's like, no, but like his, and his wife, it's like still zero. His, yeah. like, his whole situation was so weird because it's like he was one of the like one guys. Like, usually I'm covered, I'm like, I cover guys like Logan Paul and shit who are like unanimously like disliked by our community. Yeah. So it's like, it's pretty easy to like socially gain capital off of it. Like, if people want to like go to the most negative route of why you're covering a video, it's like, oh, you're only covering this guy to gain, like, viewership or something. I'm like, yeah, he's probably, like, the easiest target. But this guy's, like, well-beloved or whatever, right? So what happened was the speed-running, like, YouTuber by the name of Carl Jobst, you guys probably know as he's, like, a really, like, in-depth guy that covers speed-running, uh, really beloved by the community for his investigative reporting. He calls me, like, one night on, like, Discord. He's like, bro, I got this crazy story about this guy in a charity situation. And I'm like, and by the way, this is, like, 11 o'clock at night. I'm like... All right, because you're Carl, I'll believe you. Let me get into a call right now. It's fuck sleep right now. So I get into this call with him, and he's like this completionist dude. It's crazy how much business nowadays is done on Discord, by the way. Dude, it's like it's literally like the fucking Illuminati of the internet. <laughs> like everyone converges on that shit. But yeah, he brings up the story to me, this like charity fundraising event, and he's like, "Bro, I, I like somebody tipped him off, and it was anonymous. <clears throat> like it, it has to be anonymous. So he got tipped off." And then we started looking through IRS public filings. So this guy raised six hundred and sixty thousand dollars in like U.S. like currency for this charity. 
uh, for his like his charity, Lee Open Hand Foundation. And over why? over what period? Over of time? around nine to ten years. So that yeah. was raised a and decade. decade. A decade. And this guy's been like when we say this. This guy existed before, maybe like before Cody, before like this is an OG. Before I ever started making any fucking money. That's yeah, two thousand ten ish, eleven YouTuber, right? Yeah. Like he's OG fucking YouTuber and like and yeah. loved in the community. And these guys were like the Jesus Christ of YouTube, right? Like you can't if you're gonna go up against people like this, you better fucking make sure. You, and that's why I said to like Carl, I say this to like Coffee's, I say this to everyone I work with. I'm like, you gotta have your T's crossed, your eyes dotted, because when you're going up against Jesus Christ. Bro, you got to make sure if you're calling somebody like a fucking fake veteran or like, you know, <laughs> you better make sure you have yeah. everything on, on the table. What the fuck did you grab me <laughs> for, dude? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, like, well, like, so, so we were cool, man. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, Bob did. <laughs> but like, but like, he brings I even up the showed story. You Bob's and Virginia. <laughs> no, I, I gotta, I gotta thank him for that. He, he made my life. Better. <laughs> but like, he brings up the story to me, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of crazy, right? Like, okay, so we look through public IRS documentation, and the guy raises money, but he never contributes a dime of it. So I'm like, all right, listen, let's. So he doesn't contribute it or report it personally. Well, he reports it publicly, like he raised the money, but he doesn't. Yeah. Like you have to in, in the IRS filing. But on his own income, he doesn't report it. He doesn't report it, but like in the IRS filing, like there's a contribution like uh, line where you have yeah. to tell how much money you gave to a charity. So in these like public streams, Crazy like these story. these public like indie land streams that he's doing, like he has these public events where he's like bring in big developers and people. He's like, I'm raising money for the Alzheimer's Foundation, like literally naming actual charities. Because it was his mom, right? Yeah, well, it was, so, so the whole charity was built in honor of his mother. So, okay, yeah. full context. The charity that I'm talking about that he had was the Open Hand Foundation. And the Open Hand Foundation was built because his mother passed away through like Alzheimer's. And that was why it was built. So when Carl brought the story to me, I'm like, dude, this guy built a charity in his mother's name. Like, I... I believe a lot of pessimistic shit, but this is a lot. So yeah. when we looked through the IRS filings, 10 years, not a single dollar was given. So we're just like, <laughs> I'm, like I'm sitting there, I'm like, there's got to there's gotta be a method to the madness, right? So Carl's like, he's willing to go with the story. I'm like, hold on, hold on, Carl, let's get him on a call first. Let's talk to him about it. So we get him on like a call. And so the timeline for it is like 2 p.m. I'm like, hey, Gerard, the completionist, are you ready for a call? He's like, yeah, give me a few hours. So we give him a few hours. In my head, I'm like, he's probably talking to a lawyer. He's not going to take this call. It's a lost cause. But surprise, all I intervented, he was like, he's going to take the fucking call. So I'm like, all right, sure. Okay. Sweet. Which Let's probably go. cut off. That was a weird surprise, too. Like, he actually took it. Because that that's that weird balance where, like, you're not going to take the call if you're like. Dude, okay. if, I was, if I was doing some fucked up shit. And a lawyer, like, I would call my lawyer. I'm like, hey, should I take a call with, like, fucking YouTubers? <laughs> my lawyer would be like, fuck no. Yeah. This dude uh, deep dives everything. Six million subscribers want to know right now. Um, <laughs> so, like, his lawyer was like, uh, I guess his lawyer was like, yeah, it's, it's cool. Take the fucking call. So he takes the call. And me and Carl are playing, like, good cop, bad cop and shit. And or, admittedly, I'm, like, too nice in this situation. Bro, he admits to everything. The money is fucking there. It's never donated. I'm like, bro, you're committing actual charitable fraud, right? And, like, the, we recorded this whole hour and a half call. We release a series of videos. He makes the shittiest response in YouTube fucking history. Like, we're talking, like, bro, I call watched, me. Uh, um Oompaville, uh, prior guest of the, the podcast. I've watched his video on it, and my God. I don't like even his, know the response, so I'm looking. It, yeah, dude, I'm looking dude, forward with, to this. With <laughs> like when I when I like so you Caleb, and Umpa are friends. Like me and Umpa are friends. He's my he's my podcast co-host on the Some Ordinary Podcast. We're great homies. When I brought the situation up, like people don't understand, we're like crackheads on the internet, right? Like people will look at me and be like, "This guy just fucks around and talks about stupid shit," but we like. Say what you will. I know a fair bit about business, taxes, and, like, charities, and, like, how to report shit, and, like, how to move money around, right? Like, when you say you're going to donate to a charity, do it. Then I donate to the fucking charity. So, me and Oompa were like, Really, bro, really, like, thousand IQ plays. Bro, he brings up this, so, like, <laughs> this completionist shit. guy, after a month of reporting on him, brings out this shitty response where he's like... I'm going to threaten to sue these guys. I'm like, well, fucking do it. I don't care. Like, you know that I got the money to fucking take you to court. Let's fucking go. And then, like, he, he like, br he brings no receipts to the table. No actual receipt. So, like, I watched his response video at, like, 1 in the morning. Bro, I'm fucking, 
I'm harder than a fucking priest on fucking f- Sunday. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm ready to. I'm ready to invade. Okay, because it is the shittiest response in history. Okay, I'm ready. Is moving down here soon. Uh, I'm ready to breach San in. Antonio, okay, really, you should look into it. It's pretty, it's pretty Dude, I'm, I'm like ready to breach into the. Fu- I'm like I'm like a fucking full like commando. I'm like this is the shittiest response ever. I'm like about to breach in. This guy gave me every in, provided no receipt, no nothing. The guy still hasn't provided any receipt whatsoever. It's like. The guy amassed donation money, didn't give it away. And then, like, his community, who's, like, a bunch of children, it's like, well, you're farming, like, drama. I'm like, the last I checked, financial scams were not drama, kid. They were like, people go to jail for this shit, right? And it's the same thing I say to, like, any influencer stuff, too. It's like, one of my favorite types of content is working with people like Coffee, Carl, on, like, financial scams. Because it's like, as somebody in this space, and I'm not going to say that I'm, like, Logan Paul money. Like, I'm not a billionaire or anything or close to it. But I've done well for myself, and I can always say, I'm like, listen, you can get by without scamming the fucking audience, right? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Speaking of which, has you, have you, uh, go ahead and, you know, have you signed up for our live show? <laughs> VIP preferred, you know, if that's not sold out yet. I think it might be sold out. It's probably sold out. You crazy bitches always buy that shit. <laughs> like, they launch it, it's like, done. <laughs> it's the first time any of the uh, venues are like, Yo, what the fuck? This is that was a joking plug, by the way. I didn't want to jump into that when we were talking about financial scams, Eli. Oh God, Jesus I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. No, but that's I put Eli in sales show. mode, and he's just like, "Oh, hey, by the way." <laughs> Ding. No, but that's why I like. I like. Like that's why I like. I wanted to take the time to come out for you guys. Like I was supposed to come out for like Range Day a while ago, but usually like times kind of line up with like work from my end. Like my like quarter four is pretty fucked up, but. That's why I like you guys, because it's like you're the only few influencers that I know that aren't like running NFTs or crypto scams. Right? Like if I saw a crypto donut coin, I'd be like, fuck this guy. You know? <laughs> yeah, I would have also <laughs> said that. <laughs> now, we're, I mean, this this group of boys is pretty straightforward with everything we do. We just want to make content, want to help veterans. Some of, some of us, some of us want to help veterans. Brandon, Brandon's like, you guys aren't helping. Are you friends? Because it doesn't feel like you're friends on this side of the line. That was what I, I rolled <laughs> over this morning, and I saw the fucking thumbnail you wanted to put on the Zap <laughs> episode. Like, Brandon hates veterans. I'm like, you guys, I, fuck, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I know that Cody's like. We haven't used red eyes in a while. <laughs> like, that was the only that? note. That was the only fucking note on the thumbnail. I was like, oh, I love it. Just give Zach red eyes so you know he's serious. I'm like, I was like, Brandon's not giving notes. <laughs> it worked. That, that, dude, we, Brandon and I were listening to it on the way over here. Our last podcast with Veteran with a Sign. Wonderful person. Please follow him. Yeah, Zach. Zach's an amazing human. I love him. That podcast death. is really funny. Even if that, he's a veteran, I still like him. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you don't want to know what Brandon said behind the scenes. <laughs> it had to do with, <laughs> but you know we don't talk about. I that. saw the poster. I know how fucked up he is. <laughs> Have you seen the mailers yet? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know Zach. Zach Fucking stories assholes. and like sitting around telling veteran stories between everyone. It was it was fun. That was a really fun podcast. That was a good episode. This is like it's it's stories like like Zach's where it's just like easy. we were talking about that on I think last night. It's like. He was asking how was the podcast around. It was like it pretty much a couple of subjects and then everyone just bounces off of each other instantly. The worst podcast I've been on where it's like the fucking hosts are like the goddamn SS, bro. It's like we got a Google Doc and we got (laughs) to stick with it, boys. Like you deviate and they're like, you deviate. They're like, this uh, doesn't align with the algorithm. (laughs) Like, what the fuck, dude? We're supposed to be boys drinking and having a good time. Like, who the (laughs) <laughs> Crazy concept. Who was it? Too. Well, that that who describes. Was it? No, it was just like a, it was like fucking like a, um, it was just like the discussions of like podcasts that we were having with like internally. It's like we were looking at how other podcasts were doing it. And it's like the few that one of our producer brought out too is like. There's like, hey, we got to have like crazy Google Docs and like links and hyperlinks. I'm like, and I think we're looking at like the H3 podcast, I think, because the oh. way that they do it <laughs> yeah. is like super like to a T. You know, which I guess works. It's like it having really a structure. Bill Burr. Like having a structure helps, but oh, it's dude, like Bill bro. Burr on that podcast yeah. was fucking hilarious. Have you seen that episode? The Bill Burr, like H3, H3 yeah. and the Bill Burr. Like that was the one where <laughs> you got to see Bill Burr be Bill Burr because he's done it multiple times, even on Theo Vaughn, watching him tear apart Theo. I and mean, even Theo, Theo is fucking hilarious. 
But you see, even him, like meeting him, his idol, and not going into it with the shit. Like Bill Burr is the only guest. I think all the other guys, we got to find out what he hates and not discuss that because he hates compliments. And that is one of the biggest things. Like, do not compliment <laughs> if he's on your well, show. He just seems like one of the boys. But at the end of the day, like, if Bill Burr decides he fucking hates you, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot win that battle of wits. It's just not going to fucking happen. It's it's tough to be in, like, because, like, I understand, like, the whole point of structure and everything. But it's, like, I feel like the more YouTube becomes norm, like, like kind of like a thing, like a normal thing in society, it's, like, I, I feel like this platform succeeds when people don't take too much of a corporate look at it. Like, and it's kind of weird because I'm saying it like we we do run YouTube channels kind of like a business. But I think the reality of it is, is like you still have to have that parasocial, like not parasocial, but you still have to like kind of be your person. Like you have to be a real person because the only way people stick to you and watch you is if you're a real human being versus like some character that's presenting themselves. Because th at that point, you just got TV. You've got like, you know film like, or like personality it's like nobody cares about that shit or anything and that's why like for anything that i do even for like videos or like podcast stuff it's like having a baseline structure is okay but it's like even for videos it's like i google doc my stuff just so i don't get lost in the stuff that i say but other than that it's like be a real person otherwise nobody's gonna watch you and i have like this one rule when i'm like editing the videos together because I always edit my own stuff. Like when I edit it, I'm you like, still edit your own shit. I do it because like I know how to do it. Like I, I have a whole system for it. Like when I record stuff, I have a script that like auto aligns, auto sets up, pre edits everything, and then I just do the final stuff myself. But I do it because like I've hired editors in the past who are like, they try to make it look so fucking flashy, and I'm like, that's not my video, right? Like my video is just. A fat Indian guy sitting on a fucking computer <laughs> talking about shit. <laughs> have, you, have you tried going to Fiverr? Dude, like, well, if I go to Fiverr, I just got my own guys. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Do the accent. <laughs> like, uh, Fiverr, I'm like, you, oh. end up taking, <laughs> you, you end up taking a Fiverr gig for your own video? <laughs> You're like, oh. <laughs> You listen, man. You're talking back. I like, I like, I like write the email. I, I write, I write the email. I walk away. Yeah, I'm like, fucking what's minute. that thing doing? <laughs> no, but it's like, it's like even with like, like hiring an editor. Like anytime I hire an editor, they like always go to like that deep. It's like every editor that I hire is like from the fucking state of like California. It's like, bro, I gotta hire. I gotta get like fucking crazy stock footage. I'm like, dude, it's like every. This is a discussion I've had with editors. I'm like, it's a literal discussion. I'm like. I'm a fat Indian guy recording videos on the internet. Okay, that's all you need, right? Like, bro, you don't need to have, like, the fucking CGI. This is not Marvel, okay? Like, this is YouTube. <laughs> Chill the fuck out. I need to you build know? an After Effects logo. <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah. Like, dudes will come up with the craziest effects, <laughs> and I'm like, I can do this faster than you, so fuck you. I'm not going to bother paying you. I can do this in half your fucking time and call it a day. And, like, honestly, for me, like, YouTube is, like, Again, that side like job. So it's like I can sit down. It's it's really like a relaxing thing, right? Like come home from a sh like no, I wouldn't say like my job is a shitty nine to five. I enjoy my job. It's just coming home from it. It's when like, you work, a wait, lot. you legitimately still have a nine to five. Yeah, I have a yeah, nine to five. Dude, he works in hours and hours. That's what like this is why I respect. It. How many subs do you have on YouTube? Uh, I think like three point four or five million or something. I don't know. I don't know the three point five like ha like three point five million. We'll say that. And you're still doing multiple nine to fives where you're running different businesses. You were talking about Q4 yeah, I'm the CEO being of our own busy. company. Like I'm the CEO right. of like our own group. We do a lot of like uh, property and like asset investment around where we live. Uh, we're getting into construction and everything too. So it's like for us, like our job is my job is a nine to five every day. Like this is my day every day. Like I wake up at seven o'clock. Like I was telling you yesterday, I'm like I usually go to bed by ten. I wake up at like seven get ready for meetings, get ready for fucking work. That's why I talked about the Hassan stuff. I'm like, bro, you want to talk about social battery? Like, seven is when I get up. Yeah. I got to be in meetings every fucking day. My work day doesn't end until, like, 4 p.m. That's when I get, like, a chance to open up the Premiere Pro project file for the video, and I get to work on that, and then I get to upload that a day later. Like, it's fucking insane. Well, and know? it's, like, I, even more is you upload how many videos a week? A, a day. Like, I upload it every day. 
Jesus. This is this is why I, Jesus exactly, Christ. and why I always tell people I'm like this, like you would be an individual. It's like, hey, you're welcome at Unsub. We would hire you fucking any day of the week. You're good. You don't need. I don't believe in days off. Like I literally and, can't believe in a day off. Like I, can't. I feel guilty a, anytime I take a fucking day off. I feel, I genuinely have like an no. Underlying I, I know what you mean. Like you, you go feel crazy. Like, yeah. Like, okay. So I do something like my phone's always available. Yeah, you're like, lazy. Like when you, I, uh, yeah. Uh, like yeah. when I fly out and do anything, like if I'm in like LA or whatever, you could ask like Jen, like any of this shit. It's like when I'm like out there having fun, I'm always like on my phone. I'm always like jittery. Cause I'm like, I'm, I, I want to do work. Like I really do like enjoy doing work. Like any day that I don't feel like, like I do sad my job. <laughs> fucking cry about it i'm like this fucking sucks yeah dude I'll, I'll i'll like grab my playstation 5 controller and i'll sit on the couch <clears throat> and be like oh i'm gonna have a nice relaxing night like last night i was wanting to play uh final fantasy 7 rebirth such a good game and i sat down and i was like no i need to go work and i went upstairs and started typing up a script for my next video and that's that's yeah. like the difference and we always talk about every once in a while it's, it is we work nine to fives during coming up into whatever space us, or you're still successful with 3.5 million. In yeah. I can't say that I work a nine to five because I I do own my business, so it wouldn't that's be that's a what nine I was kind of getting yeah. at. Is I was making sure that like <clears throat> like you you at least like the the venture you call nine to five like you still own it. Yeah, I'm a CEO yeah, for you're like not, our own yeah, asset okay. group. Yeah. Well, and that I, I feel like that actually puts us at like a negative disposition where like we have to work more at it because we do own it. Because if, if anything, if any at any time anything catches fire, mm -hmm. we have to be the ones to put it out. And well, it's, it's off like that the, it's like the, it's like the same thing yeah. when I talked about it. Like even on Twitter a weeks ago, like some guy was like, "How do you enjoy being a capitalist and profiting off of the efforts of your other people?" I'm like, "Bro, I would love to make my company a co-op if people were willing to be do like loss participation or something of that sort, right?" But like. They won't. Fuck Nobody no. will like Fuck everyone no. enjoys it when their money gets like up like everyone op everyone loves it when their banking app sees like plus green like I got this much money. Nobody likes it when they it's in the middle of January, February, the worst part of the fucking business like ecosystem. And you're looking at negatives and the reds and the problems and all the, the stress. drama it's, it's that goes with subsidization it. is what it is. At the yeah. End of the day. It's like everybody wants to be like everybody wants to be part of the gamble. If like, oh, we can only win. Oh, that's great. But if we can lose too, whoa, 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 whoa hold on. This guy I just want to pay. I just want paid. I yeah. mean, like I always say this much. I'm like when I started like my initial investment, like I, I had to invest like six figures into something, which back in the day, that was genuinely like make it or break it money for me. You know, yeah. it's like. For me, like back in the day, like a hundred thousand dollars was like that's all the money I had money. to my yeah. name, you know, like it's literally money. everything. Yeah, like I saved that money over the course of living like a fucking like goblin. Like I had nothing, and I'm just like, dude, I can either spend this money on nice a things. ground you, <laughs> yeah, literally. As, uh, specifically, uh, rich high, the angry cops would say, yeah, as yeah, ground rich you. High would say, yeah, it's like you know, but but then like you know, we took the effort and like risking on ourselves, investing, and then like, look, business is uh, it's a gamble. It's like going to Vegas. Like you can either succeed or you can fucking fail spectacularly. So luckily, we succeeded. I'm not gonna say that there isn't a, like a survivorship bias to it, but it's like, dude. Like we work hard at what we do, we make good money, and it does require like a real solid sacrifice into doing yes. it, right? Like there's days where, dude, there's days where I'm like, man, I wish I. Sometimes I look at like some of the compatriots in like the YouTube game, and I'm like, dude, you guys are doing what? Like going to fucking Vegas and LA and like partying? I'm like, man, I fucking wish, but I'm fucking working. You know, I gotta yeah. work. Okay, I gotta make sure that I have that fucking stability in the future, Especially right? Especially in the mainstream YouTube game. Yeah, and that, that that what you just said the the lucky part of that drives me fucking crazy because so many people oh you're lucky you're lucky this you're lucky that it's like no you don't see the fucking work that goes into this like the amount of work that some of us have to put like we do our own scripts for the longest time like we edited our own videos like years it, years it it culminates to years of experience where we're able to do this where we're fortunate enough to be in a position where we can hire other people to do the jobs that we know and it's how even to tough to hire other people too because once it's you've been impossible because once you've been doing something you're like so fucking anal about what your video yep. is supposed to be like you talked about mentioning scripts but it's like I'm sure it's difficult for you to hire people for scripts too because you're like my videos have been made in such a specific way for so long that it's like you better match my style to a T. Yep. Otherwise, yeah, it, it took me so long just to hire an editor. Yeah, it took yeah. a year. It took six years before I hired an editor. I pushed you into fucking hiring an editor, and I've been looking for a writer for two years. I haven't found one. 
Yeah. Because if, like, if you don't a fucking writer my... now. <laughs> yeah. If, well, if you if you if you think you're a good writer, we would. <laughs> yeah, guys. <laughs> like, if you want. No, I'd like, but Dude, all jokes aside, like literally, like you need somebody who can flawlessly imitate your style that you can again craft afterward after the fact. But you also, you know, you're saving eighty percent of your time by then, you know, being able to work it in yourself. It's yeah, like, it worked out. It, it it got to the point where like. The only editor I could find, because I, I fucking, I, dude, I've hired like six editors over the years, and like a couple of them were like, oh, I can't look at p- police killing people. But I finally found one, and I... <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it I don't want to look at murder for a living. <laughs> it, it, it was one of Mr. Beast's former editors, and that's yeah. my editor now. And you're like, hey, this actually works. But it took you years to get there. And yeah. still, he's like, you yeah. still edit your videos, refining the craft during your nine to five. I remember or looking at my... Or, I'm lucky to be able to edit it because, like, that's a knowledge base that I've had. So I think it's a little bit different because it's like I know how to like properly optimize and edit the flow. If I didn't know how to edit videos, I'd definitely fucking hire an editor. But I feel bad usually, for Jaden because yeah. he has me. <laughs> usually for yeah, me, like, it's like, yeah. color yeah, corrections you, off. Why is why, that's not color master? <laughs> He's like, God, I, I've yeah. seen you be a boss to G Van. I'm like, fuck, man, I don't even know how to do that shit. That's. <laughs> I know, like, I, I remember editing my own videos on fucking Windows Movie Maker back in the day. It's like, it's, I've been doing this shit for over a decade. It's like, yeah. I, I know how, to, we all kind of have a background. Bro, I think that's what separates, like, the good YouTubers from, like, the fucking wannabe YouTubers, right? Like, we talk about how, look, I'm going to I'm gonna give, like, fucking people credit for saying that this is, like, a hard job in a way. Because it can be a hard job because you don't turn yourself off, right? Like, you're always on the internet. You're always looking, you're always signed on, right? It's not, this, this whole career is not a nine to five where you chalk out at not 5 PM and like you can turn your brain off. That said, however, it is a very fruitful, rewarding career. If you manage to make it very successful, that does mean that you put a lot of work into it. You put a lot of effort into it. And you know, for some people it's like, either that effort doesn't pay off at all, or it pays off in fucking massive dividends. And you got stuff like this going on. So it is one of those things, but I would say at the end of the day, what you're looking at is a dream job if you can make it absolutely work, right? And, you know, it it is a job that you'll learn a lot about the whole industry. You learn about every aspect of it in, like, tandem as you do it, right? Like, if you start off doing YouTube for the right reasons, you learn your script writing, you learn your editing, you learn your fucking public, you learn your social media, you pick up so many skills along the way. (laughs) That even if it's so, ma- so many, along yeah, the even For if it doesn't work, like, yeah. like thumbnail specifically, like, it, like, I'm not hiring, hiring, titles. I don't hiring a thumbnail, thumbnail dude. I just stretch my ass on the thumbnail and call it a day. <laughs> well, I, well, I mean, th- hiring a thumbnail editor, it's like, dude, how the fuck do you explain what a good thumbnail is? It's all instinct. Dude, like I, if you don't have the instinct for it, you're I went fucked. up to a, I went up to a thumbnail editor on Discord that like fucking talked shit about me. So there was a thumbnail Dave where I like you. stretched my ass on the fucking thumbnail, like literally goat seed myself. And I'm like, this is gonna fucking do more numbers than what you have. <laughs> and it who did. Was, who, it, it was me. Did. I guarantee it was a fucking, <laughs> fucking crazy CTR. As I'm like, I'm sitting over. It's like, right, you could hire me for thumbnail work. I'm like, hold on, there, chief. I can do better than you. <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, I sent him a thumbnail of me stretching my ass on the camera, like literally for the video, right? Like, it was a video about like getting fucked by. <laughs> and shit, so I'm like, it made sense. It wasn't out of nowhere. I stretch my ass. I'm like, this is gonna Chef fucking boy or D review and just like <laughs> yeah. stretching your asshole. Like part of me, I'm like, I'm gonna do this, and it's like, it's not gonna do. It's not gonna do my numbers. And I'm like, oh, what's your numbers? Okay, <clears throat> give me your percentage. Fucking double that dude's percentages like the next day. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. To this I day, know how it works. To this day, I still do my own thumbnails, like on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yep. it's, I, I will sit there for like fucking 30 minutes before a video goes up. I'm like, shit, I got to Photoshop a thumbnail real quick. And like, I, I still do everything. The last yeah. one you just read it and you're like, I had like 30 layers on this one. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I straight up have a Photoshop app on my phone that I just like, you know, whether it's PNG assets or whatever for like blood splatter. I'm like, I have a vision that I'm like, I know this will do well with the title thumbnail I've got in mind. Because like, that's just how we have to think. Oh yeah. Like, what, whether your content's good or not, if your thumbnail and title is ass, nobody will ever watch it. Yeah, yeah we, exactly. we we have in, in our group chat, like we throw each other's thumbnails around and we all like ideate for twenty four hours over like how we should do this thumbnail to make it better. That's why you don't want to do YouTube, guys. Like, holy shit, this is what you're doing on a Friday night, sharing I, thumb 
We're we're fucking we're bitching about this. This is basically just like bitching about taxes to the fucking audience here. It's just like, oh yeah, fuck. I'll I'll know, like, 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 you have to learn taxes it, to a degree you would like, not when it, want when to it learn comes taxes. to the audience. It's like I'm so thankful for the people that watch us. Like at the end of the day, oh, like yeah, best, yeah. Best, like best community. Ever. Yeah, like you guys. Best are the, job I ever had. And, and this best is why, like, this is why I love coming down to like here for you guys. Like this is why, like, when when you told me, like, yeah, can you make it for like? I'm like, dude, I can. It's I told you January to March, I'm fucking free like a bird. I'm here. So, like, you know, the community is what makes us. So I'm always eternally thankful to the people that ultimately watch us and take their time out of their day. Like, this is the best answer we have to, like, anything mainstream media-wise. Like, the only reason I watched, like, Donut You in the first place was because, like, police footage for me was interesting to look at. Like, I'm, I'm a guy that watches, like, crazy shit all the time on, like, r slash narco footage, like, about the wildest shit in the world, right? So for me, you came up in my feed one day and I was like, oh, let me watch this guy's shooting breakdowns. And I'm like, oh, this is a guy that's not like overly like wild about one side. He's not like no, a virtue no. signal. It's like a normal, like it's like a fucking ex SWAT guy talking about crazy shit. So I'm like, I want to learn about this. I want to talk about it. That's the beauty of like the world we're in because you can get these crazy wild perspectives from people that normally probably wouldn't have a platform in like the mainstream circle. But now we're like, watched by millions of people so i enjoy that kind of shit and then like through you i like learned about you brandon i learned about the entire circle here and i was like i like these guys they're super cool they're super like fucking awesome and i don't know with that like the the world of social media and the communities we build we probably would not never have that stuff right like you guys had like turkey tom and all those kind of people on like last week and they were super cool people that yeah in a normal like vacuum wouldn't have that community but now that they do you know, it's really like a, it's really like a fuck you to like a lot of the mainstream media angle where it's uh, like, yep. you know, those, we don't those have people that like to cut off other people like, oh, you don't, you don't believe exactly what we believe. Therefore, we can't talk to you ever. This and like, I love, I like breaking down, breaking down those barriers. They're like, I never expected this crossover. You well, see like, it all the time. In the, the well, comments. this, this podcast like, was interesting. Like, so to give context, right? Like I'm pretty neutral when it comes to a lot of like political stances. And for me, it's like, I like. I've always been open about like knowing Donut. Like I've always been open about it. Like, I'm like, oh, Same. like I've referenced in videos. I'm like, oh, I watched the Donut <laughs> Operator breakdown and things like that. I'm like, he's a cool dude. And generally, the community is fine about it. But Jeez. there's the thing about like anything like coming onto this podcast or coming onto anything is like you always have like a really fringe group of people that have a weird perception of you guys, right? Like where. Like, even when I came on here, it's like the day before, it's like, bro, you're on like the crazy alt right, like Nazi podcast. So I'm like, dude, I don't give a how fuck. How many times have we mentioned by two Mexicans? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm like, how many times have we brought like, up the Jews? Really? I'm like, I, I mean, can't I can't be on a Nazi podcast. I'm with the fucking veteran hater for crying out oh, loud. Fuck like, fuck off. <laughs> Medal of Honor recipient. It's like the seventh <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> But it's like, you know, I'm Brain's on like, here. I have like, Ooh. yeah, like I have like, you know, <laughs> it's like we're in, a, we're in a group of like normal level headed people. We're like good guys. We're, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's the Internet is a weird place. I'm glad that it can. We have a place where we can have like people from every angle expressing an opinion and yeah. we can all like interact with each other. Right. Like at the end of the like what I've and always said, pe what I've always said is like we as human beings, you can't agree on every single thing. You can't like there's in this table right now, if you brought up a really heated topic, you're going to disagree. I'm going to agree. You're going to disagree. You're going to agree. Right. Like that's going to be a thing. But that's like human like that's like that's like normal life. You know, people agree and disagree, but at least we're all able to have a conversation and talk to each other and have like a civil discourse. Yeah. And then you yeah, actually you know. get each other's point of views at a where I'm not like fuck you. That's not. Yeah. It's and actually that, having. I, I think discourse. that's. I think that's something that separates super successful people is because even earlier today, it's like we were talking about tip, uh, topics that we disagreed on, yeah. things that we would probably like you and I would probably not see eye to eye on. Yeah. But we can hear the other party out, listen to everything the other person says, and say like, okay, well, I understand why you would believe that. But people, here's why yeah. I disagree with it. Like and people, not at yeah. the end of the day, like we can disagree on something without wanting the other person to die in a hole. Yeah, like people like, listen, you guys probably like, I, I've always said like, if you want to get into like my politics or something like that, I'm probably a little like center leftish or something. That's probably where you want to get into. Like I'm a little baby Democrat in a way too. That's just how <laughs> I guess I've been raised. And it's kind of the standard thing for like an immigrant or something, but it's just, 
you know, when I when I was coming to this show, it's like it's funny because people are always like, yeah, Brandon Hare is like a fucking Nazi or like donut operator. He said the N word one time or something. I'm never, like, I never did. I'm like, and that's the thing when that, when that was brought up. When that was brought up, I'm like, I'm like, what World of Warcraft session was this in? All right, you got to tell me. It's a, it, <laughs> I love all the like. It is the the fake shit that comes to it. Just comes out. It's like. We've heard it multiple times without saying anything. It was like, oh, fucking how he covered the uh, George Floyd. <laughs> Cody's like, yeah. I never even I, talked, I never about, talked about George Floyd once. <laughs> Not once. And it's, but the internet will just w- run with whatever persona or a story they heard, and then that's the narrative. And you're like, bro, that was never well, they, brought up a single time. Yeah, they, they hear one thing from one person. They're like, oh, I hate it's that how, guy. It's how they want to paint you out as this is a problem, right? And it's like... The one of the big things, like I come onto the show, and it, what's what's beautiful is I, I'm glad that you guys invited me on the show because I've never had like anybody from like I guess quote unquote the other camp to ever invite me on their stuff because maybe I'm too a little bit too toxic or maybe a little bit too edgy. It doesn't really matter. But I like coming onto this one because even if we like disagree on a, like a few things, like at the, end, at the end of the day, we can be like friends and have a fucking beer together or something, and you know. Crazy. That's this a weird is how you, fucking this concept, is how you so wild to have that discussion, right? Like I I this is why I like you guys your guys' content. It's like you can have disagreements, but at the end of the day, we're still friends. We still agree. Like it's it's literally like the pre-2012 of the internet when like people again could disagree and still fucking have a beer together. Now it's like you have to be like an extreme no matter what, and that's just unfortunately for some people like their normality, which is super fucking yeah. weird to me. We call that gay. Yeah, we, I mean, <laughs> dude, when, like, on Twitter, when we have our range days, we invite everyone out. Dude, right? I had shit for hanging out with Wendigoon, dude, and Caleb. Which is ridiculous. Like, I, both of those guys. Like, with, shit about my son. <laughs> 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 no, like, it's crazy. Like, Caleb's, like, our, co- our podcast co-host for the Some Ordinary no, Podcast. Wind, not, oh, not Wendigoon, but uh, Oompa, Caleb. Oompaville, Caleb, yeah. So, Sour Boys, GG, fucking brilliant, dude. He's like a Amazing great friend human. of mine. Amazing great dude. fucking human. One of my favorite humans. Like that dude is like a brother, you know, to, to, to the day I die. Right. And like people are like, yeah, this guy's like all right. Nazi pipeline type shit. And I'm like, never did I get that. A you know, single you know, what's time fucking, from out you know what's funny dude. about Caleb Mufil is like pre podcast recording when like he's not tied up with Sour Boys. He's like the most fucking courteous, normal, rational, level headed guy ever. And he's probably one of the reasons why I came onto this podcast because he's like, bro, I love fucking, I love the unsub guys. And I'm like, I know you do. I like them too. Like, what the fuck? It is, it is what it is. Kale's one of my fellow. Okay, it's like, like with Donut. It's like, I, 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 like, I say I like, I like your stuff. And it's like, you like that racist? And I'm like, what? Because he's like a fucking cop, I guess? Sure. Cool. I guess. He breaks it because yeah. he has a non-biased approach to breaking down videos. And you're like, look at like, have, you ever, have you ever watched the video? Like, have you watched the actual video uploaded? Or are you just saying cause what you heard over Twitter or something? Or like, social media? You sound like a white supremacist. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, hey, look. You will remember this is the day I almost became a congressman. <laughs> Is the boat floating down? You know, what are you gonna? You gonna have your your opponent's gonna be like? He has that Indian white supremacist on. Him, like, <laughs> that that guy that hates. Did the you Indian. see the shit on Twitter this morning with uh, Demo Ranch? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That that Republican. It was, a, it was a it was a black Republican uh, candidate. I think it was two years ago, four years ago, who did like a thing about the Klan. Like basically, like this is why I need thirty rounds is to defend myself from people who hate me. Like he did okay. like a political ad. It was really good. Like yeah. political ad. Like I need thirty rounds because you know when Klansmen come to my house, I need to protect my family. And uh, he was just like, "Hey, bro, like, like Brandon, you need to do ads like this." And I'm like, "My consultant has strictly forbade me from hiring Klansmen in my ads." <laughs> <laughs> Brandon is just <laughs> bad idea, <laughs> bro. At, at the end of the day, like like Muda just said, like I wish we all, we could all just sit down, and, like have a beer. And Dude, talk I would to say each other. Uh, we're, we've talked about it multiple times. So, like, we will have any guest on this, just like, yeah. and rotate them through, or sitting down side by side. We just, hey, let's just chat and have fun. We don't talk about dumb shit. We just get along and then normalize these type of conversations where you're like, hey, we don't have to fucking you, you, kill you each can, other. You can talk about serious situations. It's just like, I think adults, like when you talk about like really serious political things, right? Like actual war or anything of that nature. It's like as adults, you should be able to understand like people's perspectives, right? Like you should be able to get along. You should be able to have like a civil discussion. You shouldn't be like screaming. And that's what kids fucking do. 
right? Like yeah. kids screaming, teenagers screaming each other's ears. We're too fucking old to be doing this shit, right? Like I'm the youngest out of you guys. I'm pretty sure like 29, but I can straight Brian, up say it's like I'm younger. Technically, you're younger. Yeah. Well, just I guess, rode hard and put away wet. Well, then guess what? We're 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 still too fucking old to be yelling at each other about yep. stupid shit, right? We should be able to have a civil discussion. We should be able to get along. We shouldn't fucking sit on the internet and say America's like the fucking Fourth Reich or something and yeah. go crazy on each other. Yell at each other if they like a bad movie. Like Brandon's book, Glory of the Ring Dude, like, sucks. Dude, like, you want to have a hot take? <laughs> like, well, like, bro, like, 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 no, you, you want to have a serious discussion? Like, bro, I think Fast and the Furious is the greatest movie series of all time. I'm not going to argue with that. I, I, have always, I, don't, I actually, I'm not going to argue with that because I don't know where to start with that. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad you that, said and that's that. That's how it should be with a lot of politics. I don't know where to start. <laughs> Tokyo Drift was the best Fast and Furious movie. Yes. Yes. It was I'll the best. Actually, I will you know, you know, that. This is why I say the Fast Can and the Furious. Can I get a copy of that? <laughs> Dave's like, yes. <laughs> this is why I say the Fast chum, and the chum, Furious chum, movies chum. are like the fucking best, dude. Like, me and Jen will have this argument. She'll be like, bro, you like a shitty movie series. And I'm like, that 180 was so fucking fast. Just like Tokyo Drift. Drift. <laughs> no, it's like that movie series. It's like Jen and I will have this argument. She'll be like, I don't want to watch these movies. They're pretty shit. And I'm like, oh, are you talking about the story being shit? Honey, I knew the stories were fucking dog shit. <laughs> it had Vin Diesel casted. Thin, you right? think that I ever expected this shit to be good? I watch it because of the cars, the babes, and the guns. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, fuck it. <laughs> This is the most Indian thing you said all night. You think, you think, you I think watch it because the babes. <laughs> like, like, bro. The bobs and the vagina. <laughs> she'll come <laughs> out with your face in the lower third. It's not going to be bobs and the She'll show, show <laughs> cars and vagina. <laughs> like, bro, I'm like, I'm like sitting there. I'm like, I'm like, I ain't popping a Corona to like fucking the, 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 R, the fucking Mazda. I'm popping it to the bobs and vagina. <laughs> popping in Jesus. <laughs> Somewhere Steven Spielberg just has a lone tear. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Cinema's dead. See, I don't care about good cinema. I care about the fucking slop they feed me. Out of the fucking- I think, mm, this is delicious. I'm like, yo, if I, if, if I see a Mustang and a hot babe in a fucking theater room, I'm like, I'm fucking golden. That's good for me. I'm good. <laughs> I'm peaked right now. I don't give a shit about the Citizen Kane or Kinema or like the Dune Lore. Or I'm like, <laughs> Mustang, Hot Babes, AK-47s. Unsubscribe. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, hey, we're we're kind of on that same boat. <laughs> we're on that the same boat, brother. Unsubscribe <laughs> meets uh, Bollywood. <laughs> We're talk- um, we should finance a Bollywood movie, bro. We Dude. probably can. We're talking we have some projects that we might be able oh, to. Do you want to do that. the banana slitting the throat shit? Yes, we'll go yeah, with I, South India style I lo- movies. I love that Bollywood movie. I'm so glad I talked to you about this earlier because it's like, if you have this weird perception of Bollywood, okay? Like, Bollywood in the North is like, they want to try to be like good. Bollywood in the South, they give no fucks, bro. They like got. Bollywood banana- in the South is like anime. <laughs> Bro, it's worse than it. At least anime makes fucking sense. These dudes are doing heart surgery through like fucking telekinesis. Get the fuck out of here. And then it's slow mo shot. It's the ones where it's like the slow mo back and forth, back and forth for like. Where it's clearly not eight actually minutes. slow mo. Yeah, it's like, uh, 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 and you're like, they'll stop now. Uh, 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 it's like eight minutes later, you're like, Oh, this is how they film this in. It's like your first time at Catholic Mass when you hear your eighth Hail Mary. You're like, oh, this, this is the last one, right? We're nope, right. they're just going to keep going. All right. Man, that priest is hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, bro. He's ready to go. <laughs> Brent's like, God damn it. Like, Mass stop. kicks in. He's like, I'm ready to fucking go, dude. Get that wine. Oh. And, get, that, get those fucking wine and crackers out. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the episode? <laughs> we gotta wait for Kenny to get back. Fuck! <laughs> that was the fucking <laughs> pinnacle right there. God damn it. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we'll, 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 hell. we'll touch on gaming really quick because you are a huge gamer and we actually. Yes. Oh, this we were is talking one. About, yeah. Yes, fucking Helldivers. And you're a Halo fan too. We were nerding out, so he's a Metal Gear Solid fan. I was like, oh, let me show you my Mark 23s. Solid, bro. I was like, Mark 23s? I was like, here. I'm pull these bitches. I think it, it, between you and I, we have three. Yeah. Dude, I, yeah. I, I'll be real. Yeah. Like, I, I, if I didn't know you guys, I'd be fucking planning in burglary or something right now or something, you know, like a really high stakes. <laughs> I'm glad you know us. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I know. I, I'd be dead. It'd be, it'd be like a fucking, you know, whole gunfight and everything. But when I saw the so It's a new congressional fucking uh, controversy is I have to shoot Mudahar in my <laughs> living room. 
Uh, dude, if you do, you can get the camera and be like, I died for the SOCOM. I died for something <laughs> worth living. <laughs> Fucking MGS, baby. Dude, that's why I love the state of Texas, bro. Like, when I saw that Mark 23, I, like, fucking... I fucking came mentally, dude. Dude, like, you I took... You were taking... That was the first gun you took a picture of. He was like, oh, I gotta show this to <laughs> Well, because you... Because you, you, you showed me, like... the shop, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, you, you, you haven't dude, seen Brandon's shop yet. He, he, dude... He was showing me every gun in the book, and I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. My uncle showed me that before. When I saw the Mark 23, I'm like, I could die happy holding this. That was, you know who I sent? I sent this photo to my, like, uh, my uncle. I'm like, bro, you got to look at this shit. This is like fucking special op shit from back in the day. And he was just like, oh, my God, I remember that. What the fuck? You're like huge gamer, and then Metal Gear Solid, but then we were talking about Hell Helldiver because we're all trying to get on board on that. I just passed the tutorial today. Oh, I just I started playing it, too. I'm like, babe, you fucking started with that. And then Clean came over last night really briefly. We were talking about it, and that is ODST. He's a huge ODST fan, and finding uh, out dude, that was supposed I, to be ODST 2. What? You didn't know that? No. That was ODS, That was what was pitched for ODST 2. For Halo, and that Bungie was like, no, nah, it's not going to work. And the developer's like, we pitched this for this fucking game, which would have been the most <laughs> dope goddamn game in Bungie, the world. Bungie, why? <laughs> Bungie, why? <laughs> yeah. Just fucking ODST, like hell, they're hell, what, uh, what are they called? The, the ODS, uh, I mean, well, hell jumpers. Yeah, hell jumpers, jumpers, yeah. Oh, well, hell. They're called hell jumpers in ODST. I'm going to go take yeah, a yeah, piss yeah, real yeah. quick, boys. Go get it, get yeah. it. Yeah, but like, they're they were literally hell jumpers, and then that was the game developed for it because they're like, yeah, we're gonna jump in the <clears> rings, <throat> and then you're just fighting the flood, you're fl fighting the covenant, and all this stuff. What's funny too is like Halo, in itself, is kind of like a pun because it's you know the Halo jumpers like high altitude, low opening. So it's like that. That was the whole premise is that you're jumping into hell on that shit. So. No, but like playing it for the first time, I very quickly realized this is just an unlicensed. Uh, Starship Troopers game with Metal Gear Solid Five movement. If you guys did yes. you see it, I, I, yeah. no, I, sent, I, I showed it to that. you. Remember? Yes, you were the one that showed it. Yeah. I was like, what, "What? This is the Fox. This is the Fox Die engine. The little, of, the little fucking running on the ground. The dump drive turn backwards and shoot. It's very and, intuitive. Uh, now, uh, Sav started playing it last night. I was like, okay, I actually have to. I'm going to download it tonight and actually start running it. Because are we going to retake the creek? <laughs> Cody, oh, I'm down. <laughs> Just start making it. <laughs> Retake the creek. Oh. Dude, I, oh. I, I downloaded Did you see, it. Do you see the fucking meme where it's like, what Helldivers is really about? And it's just like all the bros like emoting to each other, just like the hug. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Cody? No, I was saying I downloaded it. Like, we, yeah. you guys want to jump on that? Tonight. A hundred percent. I'm going to yeah. jump on I got it on the Steam Deck, bro. It runs great. Get, oh, do we all, all want to play Helldivers tonight? I'm down, dude. We got I extra. Genuinely we got gaming do that. computer. Extra ones. Dude, I'm I'm playing on the Steam Deck just for the added extra like difficulty. <laughs> like, I, no, no, I, I, fucking, I fucking heard you earlier. You like you got everything like hot keyed to the back. I do. I have like everything like so that game is so Hell Divers too. For anybody that doesn't know, they have these. They got these like crazy Grand Theft Auto cheat codes you got to enter in for like special abilities. Like if you call down a machine gun or like an orbital strike, like left right left right up down up down. Yeah, which like, is really right. fucking dope. So that's an added element of stress because you're like. Oh, here, call this in because you can call for it. It's not cheat, but it's a cheat code in the number pressing. So you're like, you're getting fucking swarmed. You're like, and then it's like, here is this Konami code. And you're like, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, it's like left, it right, left, right, up, down, <laughs> BA strut or something. So what I do on the Steam Deck was I just like map them to like a macro on the back, like four keys, and it's just like fucking. Orbital strike. <laughs> Throw that shit out. Dude. Okay, God, move so Indian. He's so cheap. <laughs> dude, I'm like, this, this, this how you know. This how you, He's already selling it. This how you know I'm like genetically like Indian. There, I'm like, I got that thing in my head. You're our guy in the chair. <laughs> that's, that's what it works. It's like, dude, you, when you play, like, that's how you know you're Indian. It's like when you're thinking about like playing a video game, you're already thinking of the macros and the fucking ways to get ahead and like optimizing every single thing, dude. Imagine. Like, I fucking got you guys. I'll send you the cut. The dude, my buddy Kyle. I will turn you into purple squishy. Bro, my buddy, my buddy <laughs> Kyle was script? yeah. I buy you the scripts right now. <laughs> my, my buddy Kyle was like, my buddy Kyle, when we started playing that game, he was like, bro, you got to enter cheat codes. I'm like, no, 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 you know you're done. No, you have macros. <laughs> <laughs> the only time you speak in the accent. No, no, no. I love speaking in the accent when I'm speaking to another scammer that calls me so like usually like when i get like i pick up my phone it's like oh likely spam i pick up the phone i'm like 
Hello, how's it going? <laughs> what? Wind, oh, car warranty? Oh, what car do I own? Toyota Camry. I see. Okay, I get it. I understand. Like, I just fuck with them as long as it takes. So I'm like, I'm like, Kunal, I am from the other office in Mumbai. You were, you were mistakenly calling me. And then we're fucking, that's about it. That's how it works. Like, I fucking hate. It's the thing. Like, nothing will make you a self-hater like a fucking scam caller, dude. Like... <laughs> I get it. Like, I get it why people get pissed about Windows 7, like, fucking warranty calls. I get that shit all the time. It's the it's that one meme. It's like, a billion dollars, my Indian accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like people. <laughs> like, no, but like, you kind of got to get it. It's like, it's like all the doctors and engineers, like, fucking immigrated here, and, like, all we have left back home are the fucking, like, cell phone scammers and shit. So it's like, fuck. <laughs> it's like, ooh. <laughs> It's the, it's the fucking pasta strainer. It's like the people who couldn't get a visa. Yeah, it's, like, exactly. it's like fucking, you know, you, you talk to the Indian guy. It's like, man, how many guys are like, oh, you're in America? Oh, what do you do? Oh, you're a fucking surgeon? You're an engineer? You're a fucking researcher? You contributed something? Yeah, what's back home? Oh, that's fucking guy. Like, dude's calling me about, like, warranties and shit like that. I'm like, I get it. I, that's the filter. That's a great filter. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what oh. video game are you looking forward to next? Now that you're playing Helldiver, and you you came I'm, from your YouTube. Did you originally start in like, hey, I'm going to start in the YouTube space as a gamer, or were you immediately like, go? I was in as a gamer, but I realized quickly, like, bro, I, it's not like I don't want to turn the, this into my job. So I just started doing what I'm passionate about and called it that a would day. Be terrible to turn it yeah. into your job. Gaming right. wise, <laughs> the only game I'm into is like right now is like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like, I've been playing that, like, pretty it's much. It's a high five, not the other one, Brian. No, like, yeah. pretty much, like, I, I, like, <laughs> I was like, mm. like was, before I before I flew right out here, I made sure to get, like, yeah. Uh, watch on that one. That was, that was really close. <laughs> <It's the same>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, no, before I, like, flew out here, I was like, I gotta get my all, all my hours of Final Fantasy in before I, like, take, like, a two-day fucking sabbatical from this shit. Because it's a really good game, like... I I'm He's from like an OG an, gamer like, like PlayStation. He's in my Xeno Gears, dude. I, I, mean, I we started playing Xeno Gears last night. The very beginning, the the, the dark Pokemon shit. Oh well, yeah, look, because you were doing. Um, you started off with the creepy uh, scary stories. You yeah. started, no, no, like I looked at your old catalog. Mm -hmm. It was like Zelda, I'm so Ocarina sorry of Time, you. and then it went down That's to my uh, fucking line. <laughs> yeah, and, and like. The first like five hundred thousand view video you got was the Pokemon like the dark Pokemon. Yeah, the creepy black stuff or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Was Probably that explain it differently than that? I enjoyed it because like <laughs> at the time, like ten years ago, I was always like looking at creepy <laughs> shit on the internet. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. No, like at, at the time, like creepy shit on the internet was what I was into, and it like kind of parlays into what I do now. Like looking at like the weird stuff on like some of my most favorite videos to make is like. You know, the 4chan stuff where I look into, like, crazy, um, like, the the Alex from Tennessee thread or something like that, where, like, I'm looking at somebody who's just on, like, the paranormal board talking about, like, hey, I found this bomb shelter in the middle of Tennessee. Maybe I want to, like, fucking explore it or something. Oh, shit, there's, like, a crackhead in the middle. Should I go further? I'm like, that's the kind of stuff I enjoy, right? So that's where, like, kind of the jump went into. And I think because of that, like, I went away from, like, the gaming side because... At the time when I started YouTube, I thought gaming was like kind of like the thing that was in. But then I'm like, I've already got a job. I've already got things going for me. Like I might as well do what I enjoy. And if it sticks, if it sticks, right? And that's when I pivoted a little bit to like general commentary, deep web, and now I'm like commentary as well. So it's like when I switched to that, it's like doing things that I enjoy. I found it success in that. And that's what I pretty much like kind of stuck to. Like, uh, internet scary stuff is what I'm into. It's one of the reasons why I love channels like Wendigoon, for instance, right? Like, I love I, I love any channel like that that looks into, like, the yeah. craziest shit out there. Brandon's son. Yeah, my son, yeah. of course. Yeah. He yeah. crushes it's, that. It's always super funny because, like, channels like, uh, it's like, uh, you know, Isaiah, um, you know, Hunter, any any of those guys. I, whenever Barely you see Barely sociable, him and, yeah? What's up? Barely sociable? Also on top of that. You know, no. you, you, you that's talk when to you said Hunter. I'm like, oh, I thought you meant him. Oh, no, oh, I, no, I thought no, you no. meant like <laughs> saying like they are barely sociable. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> oh, people no. that are barely sociable. I love them guys. I was like, too. well, I wouldn't like, go that far, but all right, sure. <laughs> Mudahar goes hard. Yeah, like, goddamn. Uh, no, uh, uh, you know, uh, Wendigoon. Uh, it's like Me the fucking 
you know, we're best, using our made up names. He was the best guest on our podcast. Like, bro, that guy, when you bring Wendigoon on, it's oh, like, he's great. yo, you got to sit there and be ready to talk about JFK getting fucking squad wiped. Nine <laughs> eleven. That's why he's my <laughs> fucking dude. We we had him on here, and it, it was probably one of the best podcasts we've ever done. Dude, he like, crushed it. It was so good. I just loved he was the sober one. And then we, like, when the episode was coming out, it was like... In context. In context. But Cody's parents were on that one. We no, had no other on, on the Wendigoon one? Yeah, Wendigoon. Yeah. yeah, his parents were on it. Fucking uh, Trout was on it. We didn't remember any of that. Because <laughs> we had, like, five podcasts in two days. Yeah. Because we were just one right after the other. Like, we were just fucking churning these things out. And so, like, we also, like, on top of the social anxiety of, like, having to hang out with, like, 80 of our friends at one time. So it was it was a lot. It was it, a lot. And then, so like, much. that that podcast I remember watching on a plane for the first time, essentially. Because I don't remember a fucking thing that happened on it. But yeah. it was it was so good, and I'm glad it, it, it pieced together. Because five is a harder one. I don't know if you've ever had five people. It is a harder one, so like the conversations get deviated. But when you have somebody like I oh, say having a fucking guest on that doesn't say shit. Bro. I want I don't want to shit on any guest, but like if you come on my show and like you don't say <laughs> anything, like <laughs> Cody, on the I'd watch. Fuck you, <laughs> sewer slide. No, but it's like it's like it's it, the thing about it is like even if you have somebody on, it's like if you don't contribute at all, and you feel like you don't say. That's why I hate having like gamers on the show because it's like, bro, you guys are like so fucking socially stunted. Like you can't have any. <laughs> Goddamn conversation about anything. Speaking of socially stunted, I see you're doing the same thing with your hands that I've been doing for like what the fuck? No, we're are doing you the guys? Yeah, we're doing. <laughs> I just noticed it. I just hear this like mm, this conversation. Guys, you guys are no, stimming but, like that. Fuck no, but it's like, it's like sometimes you'll have like dude. Sometimes sometimes you'll have dudes on your show. Even where ten it's more like, years bro. to train it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but sometimes you'll have people on the show where it's like, bro, you gotta fucking say something. You gotta have something to contribute to the fucking show. Jesus Christ. Like, God damn. I don't understand, like, how... Like, we've got... Le- I will say we've got very lucky with... We, we try to get our guests off of, like, from show or the guys when we bring guests on is very, like, hey, this individual is very well spoken or they can talk Mm -hmm. yeah okay and if it it's an individual if it's one that has problems you're like "Eh, let's add another guest on that episode and we'll only roll two hosts and then you have pretty good solid conversation pieces and we've got lucky in that because we haven't had just like stale I wish more YouTubers were like us, dude. Business owners, scumbags, like white supremacists and shit. Like that, <laughs> that's the best that kind is of That is going in the wow. first 15 seconds that of this episode. It's like, fuck I just off. wish more YouTubers were like us. White Co- supremacists. On that, scumbags. <laughs> on that fucking note, Cody, do you want to fucking send this out? Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the Unsubscribe Podcast. I'm joined today by Eli Double Fat, Brandon Herrera, Hayes Veterans, and <laughs> Mr. Mudahar, Ordinary Gamer. And where can we find you at, Mr. Mudahar? You can find me at Some Ordinary Gamers. We have a brand that's coming out, too. I feel like I might as well mention that. It's One Up Cosmetics. I could probably send you guys the message for the URL link for that sometime well, soon. Well, then tell who's behind that, because you were well, talking about that, and that's me, awesome. it's me, Oompaville. It's a gamer from Mars who are behind a skincare brand, actually, and it might be awful for a gamer to release a skincare brand, but we're working on it because we had sponsors that were, like, making us do fucking Scantron tests for skincare. So we decided to make our own brand and not white label. We decided to actually go through two years of hard effort to find... This Shit. this is a fucking crazy story. I feel like this is how you ended off. We had to find a we had we found the this guy that worked with Versace. Yeah, so, right. So we found a guy it. that worked with Versace. We found the manufacturer. We found everything in house. So one of the wildest things is like you know how these like YouTubers make like, these white label products and shit. Yeah. Like Pokemane's like fucking cookies or Valkyrie no. skin cream. No, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's a <laughs> really shocking concept. But like we had these, we had so many of these white label products. And I'll say this much right now: as a YouTuber, is like somebody that's in this business, I fucking hate when when like big companies take basically bend us over and fuck us in the ass for money. So. I got tired of doing like ad reads and I shit like, it like better that. Than the alternative. Yeah, like the alternative. I like. <laughs> I at least hope there's money. Yeah, in the like, I like being. I like being behind the barrel by two degrees, right? <laughs> like fuck me. 
So we made a brand called One Up Cosmetics, which was like a combat to like a lot of the skincare brands that were like making you do fucking Scantron tests and making you like making you buy like 90 different products. So we have like one actual product that you as guys, which we don't like fucking love doing morning routines. You take 30 seconds for and then bam, you're good to go. So we so have you don't a, want to do the American psycho like I simply am not. There. I mean, you can't listen. You can do the American Psycho if you want. It's just not going to take as long as the fucking movie. But hey, give it a give it a try. All you want. Every but morning yeah. I do crunches. But yeah, I can do 156 now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the things I've been working on with like Oompaville. I've been working on with Gamer from Mars, a few of my friends, and uh, it's one of the projects we have as an experiment for like YouTubers to build their own brands and like succeed, and then finally fucking have a little bit of footing that's not in reliance to like big tech, big companies, big anything. So it's a bit of a way for us to gain independence almost. I enjoy that. I, I enjoy that. Not only like uh, that company in, uh, in particular, but like the way that you guys do things like between uh, like just, I mean, even the way that Caleb does his stuff with the, uh, you Cowboys. Know, Cowboys or his just, he does everything. It's not white label. It's not just like, Hey, I'll do an influencer deal. Uh, use this code, get 10% off. Like he actually, from the ground up, FDA compliance, everything, just built a company, hired employees, and built the whole thing. Yeah, it's funny. Thing. It's like the it's amount of risk. bitching that I had to hear Caleb over two years of working with us <laughs> about the fucking <laughs> FDA. Dude, I, I love Caleb. He's my boy. But, like, man, that guy, if you ever want to know about somebody that has to, like, anybody that's a real, like, proper American businessman that works with the FDA and every three-letter agency is Caleb. He puts in every effort possible. That guy is the greatest dude that I've ever partnered with, period. Like, And if you want to hear about that, check out the, um, the, the after show. We're going to do about 10 to 20 minutes after this. Go check out the Patreon. Watch it. We'll have a good time. We're going to sign out right now. Cody, we love you. Donut. Check out Donut. Last week. Last week. Donut.